Ana, o kotau i hi, o kotau whakamataku, he, ki roto ki tō tātou whare atu nei. Harapu mai, kia ngā tira ki wonga hi ano honne. Harapu mai, ki te awa e rene rā, te awa hau, hāre atu, kato hi a hewai mā. Te rā wai, hewai tukukiri. Hewai whaka ora ora. Hāre atu, kato hi a hewai mā, e ora i tō ngā kau, e ora i tō wairua. Mā ngā whiro tū ngau ngau o te awa hau koutou tā whanau. Haramai. Haramai. Ki te whare atu nei, ki a tawaka e turiparu, ki a tawaka e hei moa. Ana, e whaka mahana nei a tātau i tēnei ahi ahi pō. Haramai, ki a te awa mahara, ki tō kūkūia, e whaka nei ki a kōtai. He whare whanga i te katoa. Te waha i a ia. He ringa whakatupu māra. He mā, pere pere tau, taru taru. He mā, whakatupu i ngā tupu, hāko kotau tēnei. Ia kotau i mahi nei, ia kotau mahi. He mā, tuhu i tuhi ngā kōrara mō ngā muri ngā te take tēnā kotau. Hara mai ki a tari mauna ko aroa nei e whangana ki a kotau. He mā, ana te kōrara. Te awa e re re rā, o taku tani whā tonu te rā, ko peke hāua. Nei, tuhi tuhi ai taku whāia, rā kōra rā mōna. Ko peke hāua te rā, patua e ngā titoa. Engari, kia mātau kia ngā tira ki wawai, he kai tiaki. Patua o peke hāua, ara, ka puka i tana puku, ana i roto katoa rā, ko ngā toi katoa o te rā Māori. Hara mai ki au ki ngā toi Māori. I roto rā rā, i rā, ko ngā uhi moko. Nā ko koutou anō hoki te rā. I rā nā watu ki te mā hoi, ki te rahu, anā ko tā koutou he tā kiri kiri. I ngā kōrero, ko o tia koutou te tuhi tui ki ngā pū mota moto, tonu o te hunga pānui, te rā koutou. Whakapua ki tia tana puku, anā, i roto rā, ko ngā momo rā ngā katoa. Nā umai ki te whare pola o ngā tira ni wawai. Ko koutou anō hoki tērā, e tui tui nei, e rangaranga nei i ngā kupu, hei reka mā te katoa tēnā koutou. I rei rako ngā whāau, he mea whāau whāau hāre, nā umai harabu mai ki te whare whakai rō tawaka hei mua tū nei, ko koutou hoki tērā. E whāau nei, e whakai rō nei te kupu, e reka ai ki te whatu ngā kau te katoa tēnā koutou ko koutou tērā harabu mai. E mihi nui ana ki a kotau. Ki te ki te hale ana au, ko waku whaia tonu tērā e noho nei nga, ko waku matua tonu tērā e noho nei nga, me taku hariku a nui nei, ko kotau tērā e, ah, ko hara mai, te whakakano hi tērā taha, te taha o te pākeke, i roto i tērā e tira, tērā koutou. Tērā e te mihi nui, Ah, ki tā koutou māia, i whakāra wai koutou, ki tēnei tāunga, te tuhi tuhi hārei te kupu, e ora i mō ngā muringa, ah, nui e rā kōrara, harab mai, nau mai, ah, kia te ragi ka heke iri mai nga. Wai mare nui anā ngā tiragi wawe hi te wāi āia ko ia tērā, i tuhi tuhi i ngā pūrākau, i ngā whakiwai tara, i ngā hitori au ngā tiragi wawe hi, eh, e ki tei mātou e nei ragi nei nga kāri ngaro. Kā arī pahe mo, e, ko kōtau hoki tērā. E mihi nui tēnei ki a kōtau. Hara mai, nau mai. Ai ngā mātā waka o te motu. Ia oe whātane tare haere nei, e he nui kōtau no ngā tirangi wawahi. Kā arī o te mārama haha kōtau i pio. I kuhupe e nei mai, tikanga ke, kai tēnei taha ke. E ngā rī rāna, ko tāku nua. Hoki mai ki te kāinga, kōtau anō hoki, he wai wai tapu ki tēnei marae, māku e māke, no tātau tēnei marae. Hara mai, kawea e nei mātau ranga huhua, e nei mātau ranga atahua. E, hei oranga, kau anō ho mō ngā muringa ngari hei oranga mō te katoa. E kia ore ei, ngā kōrero i roti a kōtau, e ngaro.
Taku kui ai kololo mai ki aau i te wai aau e tamariki ana. Pātai mai ki aau, hea hoki tēnei mea te reo rangatira. Ta huri au ki taku kui a me taku mea ke, o, ko te reo wa tāhua pea tēna, ko te reo i āta whaka niko niko hia, tana whaka utu mai ki aau, ai. Oh, he ne pea, me kau ngā rawa te reo, pēra tonu ki taku tūpuna ki a te rangi kaheke, tana whaka utu mai, ai. A few few hale ni ma pata ki taku kuia. Toru farangi pea we faka utu ana ka ae ka toa mai e kia. Mutu ka wana e rarangi ka tohuri mai e kia ka faka nohoi ia te taho te ahi. Ka mea mai kia ka itaku moho puna ko te reo ranga atira ko te reo ka rara ngai ngai atira. E mara mai te tamaiti. E mara mai ngā pakeke, ngā kraua kuia ka toa ka mara mai. Mea mai e kia ko te take o te rao ranga atira ko te kawe i ngā kare aroto oroto i ākoe ki te katoa. Ko te reo rangatira, ko te reo marama. Kia kūtau, te hina atore o te marama tanga, tēnā rawa atu kūtau. Nau mai, hana mai, kawe e nei pūkenga ki roto ki au, kia ngātira ngi wewehi, me te mea pai anu hoki. Nga kā pai, kā pai, ki tēnā ngi a tātau e maua nei ngā arai ka rohi. Nga ri kā pai e riro ana, ma te kaupapa atahu a tātau e whaka hui hui, i te ahi ahi pōne. He kaupapa ora, kā pai. Ah, ka tia ke rā. Ka wai hoto nua i ue tahi kōrero. Ara, ma ku pāke ke tonu e kōrero. Ah, kai riro. A i te whetu, te marama, te kai iā. Engari rā, e kia nā te kōrero. Ki te tū o hukua e mehe maunga teite. Te kōrero o taku whakarenga o te kāinga nei. Rangi wawahi, te mō kai ati haia, kau a koe tū o. Engari, me tū pau, me tū ngā. Me tū pau, e mō hoa i o pākeke ki te aroha nui o ki ai. Ki tōna mana nui. E o ngai rātau, e tu whakaaro nui ki a rātau. Mā rātau tō tua rā e whakamahana. Ki te tua huku e, kau e tua hua ngari me tū ngau, ki ngā taiririki ki te taua fi a rātau. Mā o tonu rātau e whaka ope ope, e mō hoa i rātau ki tō aroha nui ki a rātau. Engari putu atu ana koe, te mō kai ati hei ai tō rohe, me tūtika. Kaua ngā mātā pono tō marae ki te ao tūroa. Tā, i runga i e rā kōra lau, e mihi ana ki o kotau mātā pono nga kotau tonu, i kaua e mai te pō nei. Hei kai, hei o ma te katoa. Atu i tēnā ko kore rau mā e whaka tō rohe ngā kōra lau. Hei aku pāpā, hei aku whaia. E, e aku tua hine, e aku tua kana, e mihinu tēne kia koutou. Tēnā koutou. Tēnā koutou. Tēnā katau katou. Tēnā koutou. 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 T
Eke do mai hiunga ia a voi te rane i te ahi ahi. Kei te moho pungu. E te uri. O te ihu. Ta maki maki. O te ihu a iho. O te kōpū ai nui o koko tuanu o te moana nui ia a kua te nāku. Langi we wehi te nāku te. Tō au. Tō ia. Ai. Ba i. A te tiro a te pāki te ati wa rau i hōku nga pā keke tua a kanga katoa i noho mai nga. Ka tau te nga ka. E hara te nga i hara mai te hara mai tau haru no ai. Ha. Tare mau mau taku makari. Taku iru koe koe puta mai to māua wale i roto mā hae mai ki a pāre he rehe ti a papatahiti a e te anu mātau. Ei, ka o ki a kupa kāro i te kāino ki tonga li o kātangi kāmi. Kūtu, tūtu, te nā koe, te nā koutou, te nā tātou. Ngā uli a te kūtu, i mihi e mai rā. E tō tātou ranga tira i tō tūtiroku i tō tātou reo mārama. Te nā rā koutou, te nā rā tātou. Te kupu ka hara mai i tōna te kupu. Te nei kupu hara mai nei tōku waha ka hara mai te tōku o tōku tīna. Te tōku o tōku tīna no ko rangi ki runga ko pau tīna. Waenga nui a rāewa ko te whare atu a nei e tū nei tōku whare atu o te tūku o tōku kupu o kupu a ki nei tōku o. A koa ko niku mai o kukupu i te ene mea te pepa, ka mau wai pe nei anō i te toka i te koha tuwe ko rea wā wā hia rā. Ko ta kukupu ka tīma ta mai te rane. Mena tōna whakapapu ko te whakapapa i hōmai rā e te koro i rōmo hia, e ko hua hia mai tōna i ngō te rangi kāheke, kami. Te tai wāhi o te tū i te pōne i ngā kōta, i te mea pēri i te whakapāne. Pā te kau tau ki mūli. Au, e rua te kau mātau ana e tamarikito. Anu hoa e me toku pāpā. Ka me au tu a hau. Hei, ko pēhe e kōrua Māori ai wā au mō kutu. Ka ari au te reu. Ari o mātou ka tōrua mātou rea mā te reu. O mātou pāpā te reu. Ka tānga e mai e āpaki wai taro o te oro hoa. Te kupu mātua te kupu nui a rātou. Ka mutu tana whāngai mai, ka tātai au āhe, kai te titu nā kōre o i hōma. O mea tōma tō pāpā. Ei, te pai tāku ranga hau pāke, hāri te kaupapa nei, tō te atau e tai kōre o kea tu, e ne hōma e kōre. A te titu mai au, tī ka rane i keo, koe hapo. Ara, ka hāri au ki pai whāne puka puka, te mea a tī nana tonu, e mea puka puka tonu. Ka rane e kūka. Pai kuku ko tumu e e e tuna pātana, o ona, ka hapu na tana, e te pito rā no tunu a pāo. Hai, hai, tau tau tēnā whare, tō tika te kuhu tai, tau mātou tua tai tua rua ka kuhu, ki mātou i tētai i rūma ko ra kaina, a te tiru ki tētai i puka puka ka tōro te ringa ai ko te puka puka ki koroa nei ngā mai a ngā tīpu. Te rungi kai. Ah, ka pshhh, awa pini. ウェルベフェケ。あの時もなパキコールハリとパパを作る。うん。立ち行きな。え、コール。え、ボーグ。立ち行きな。おもくぽうパーゴパーケケアテナウタとパーケケカクフナイヘイカイマワウタマイキロ
Ana kurangi kahege te te hiwa ana hua ka iru mai da ia mata. Me tenei te pono o te koro i tō mātou whare, tō mātou whānau e tuitui ana i tō mātou whāriki i te korema o te whāriki, te tino korema. Ururoa kai te mōhiu i taho o kumātua i te rawa, i hamutau. Kwa hau te bad boy. Nae, i wa tau au kai si kua i mātou i wa tō kawera. Whāngai au ki te rākau ki taku waha, i au e tamau ki anu. E o kupākeke, ka puta mātou ki hamutana. Ka hiru i a kumātua, te puta haere ki ngā kura ka tō hamutana. Ka tō. I te waka apu i te ni mea ta haka. Ko au te pehe koe, a, ka haere rau, ko haere koe au he mōkai. Ka ni ni atu nga pēke, whākaronga rua. Te roa o te whakarongi a rau, ka au hau ana mai ana i te mai a te kūtā, te mai a te wāwai, te mai a te koe, te mai a te a. Ka pakeke au i rotu i o rau a ni. E, kau hau noe hoa. Te makere te makari. E, te whare te ngā koe. Ngā kūpū e, te re tonu anu. Kea tā hua, o te noho mai, o te moho puna, te mai nga nui ki o tau i rā koe. Ka tino kaha te oro o taku ngā kau e ho hua te whakoro ngā tui a koe. E kōre rō mai anu, i tō tā hua le watua. Ko te rō mārama o te rangi me te whenua, ko hoki au ki taku kupu tuatai, ko te kupu, ko te ne mea puta mai nei taku waha, ka puta i tōna tukupu. Taku tīnana, tukupu o taku kupu. Ko taku tīnana, ka puta i tōna tukupu. A nei pei nei tēnei tīnana o taku pau tako manono, ki te rangi e tū nei, ki te papa e tako tua ki nei, ki wāinu nui. Ko te whare atu, anei te whare atu, anei te kupu i kūtua. Nō muri ka tuhia. Ko te tuhi, ko te tuhi i a hune tua ki, Sanskrit, written in Sanskrit. Ko te tāhe inu rimu te rau tāta. Nā reira. Ah, me mutu te kau hau ki ko nei, ko tāku noa he whakaia i te mihi. Ah, tua tori ki waka hua tia o tō i ngoa e koro. Ka ohi ki te rau o te rākau a te ngā o tō pakiki. Ka tangi anō te ngā kau ka ohi atu au ki a te hoko tō mātou tangata. Ka haramai a i nirangi, ka haramai a meta, ka haramai ngā uri nō roto o paukura. Te ngā koutou ngā uri a tarau ngoa. Kai kona i hika kāna te kōle o te espakarongo mai i te puta mai o te kōle roi a koe i runga i a mata. I hi i ana haha ana te ngākau ka hoki atu au ki runga i aku kaun ka hui maunga. Kia matua te mana, kia matua te toa, kia matua te tapu. Kia matua te pononga, kia matua te hine. Kia matua te aroha. Kia matua te manoa, kia matua te wairua puta noa, kia puta waki atu maina. O te o, te o, o te waru. O te kaa hui maunga, o te tiki tiki, o te mahunga tapu o papa tuanuku o tēnei whenu. Ai au te aroa, ai te ika Māui, ai pana maho te ingoa i homa e taku tipuna e ngā toroira. Pana maho tia. O te u o Hawaiki ki au aho. Au aho, ko te u o Hawaiki. Te u o te u hā o a Hawaiki. Puta noa ki te kākano i rue mai i rangi ātea. Ka pēnei te āhua te maringi mai o te kubu ki nua i āko e te whakahuki atu rā i te mana ki āteran i kāheke nā nei homa e tētahi pito ki a mātua taku whānau ake o te aore. Kā mihi, kā mihi, kā mihi. Kā ua te whare e pōhe he he reo niri tēnei kā ko te reo o ngā mātua tīpuna puta ake nei nā ui tō mai. Nā ui tō mai e koruma, e koruma kau e niri mai tēnei hanga o te, te wera wera. O te toa, mātua te toa, tō ngā liru. E mihi nei ki a kūtu, e nei tani whaa peke hāua, ka hoki ki a mātou huru kare ao, nui nga tani wha, nui a ngā toro e rangi, nui nga tani wha. Nga reira, kai ngā uri o ngā tani wha, o ngā pārehe o ngā maunga, o te uri, o ngā uri e tata atuana ki te rangi, ngā uri e tata ana ki te rangi, akiko, te nga kūtu, te nga kūtu.
Mana huote tapu o tahi to ki, mana huote tapu o tahi to korero, mana huote tapu o tahi to wananga, mana huote tapu o tahi to ngawari, mana huote tapu o tahi to ho, mana huote tapu o tahi to maranga ranga, mana huote tapu o tahi to e. No mai, no mai, hae. Hara mai ki a tawake hei mua e tuake nei koia tēnei tawharau i a tātou, i rungi tēnei kaupapa, nui whakahara. Kei ware wahara ki a hau ki a mihi atu ki a koutou, Robin koutou ko tō tira, nga koutou te whakaaro nui ki a whakaemi mi ngā kaituhitu i Māori. Ka mi. Engari ki te kohi kohi ngā kai tuhi tui Māori, e pai ki a hoki whakamuri ki e rā kai tuhi tui, ko a nerohia e a kuranga tira nei. I au e noho nei i te whakaaro au, ah, ta hanga nei ko miti ki a katoa tia, tere ko te kōrero i a kuranga tira. Nā rere ko riro i au ngā whewa. He whewa te whae ngai ki a tātou nei, he pai kei roti te whewa. A hoi anō. Ka mihi atu au, ki te wai, nga te me he wai tapu, he wai ruruku, he wai mai ngā tūpuna. Pēnā roa te wai o ngā patupai arehe, pēnā roa te pai o taua wai. I inu mai te tahitangata i tērā wai, i nā kei i te noho mai i tēnei taha. Kone e tia tērā. Engari, mēna ka titiro titahau ki ta kauana e nganga humai rā. Tērā pē ko tana ruruku i roti te wai mo tana mokopona ki a hāri atu ki a whai i te tahi tāne mōna. Nā reira koutou ngā kaituhi, kaiti mihi. Ka wai hoa i āna pere i te taku āku kupu whakamutunga. Nā tā mea, mēna ka whakakokiri i ki mua. Ah, ka mōhi o kē hā ko, ko rangi wewehi tēnei kai te pakipaki i ngā tuara o rangi wewehi ano. Ahoi ano, kai aku rangatira. Nā koutou tēnei pō. Nā koutou tēnei pō. Nā reira ka whakarāpa pato aku kupu ki tēnei. Ka rongu i te rangatira e me ana. Mo te āhua tango o rangi nui me papatūnuku, pēna i te kraua me āna kupu, ko tahi anō atua, ko rangi nui e tui hone ko papatūnuku e taku toa kine. Nā reira, huri, huri i tō tātou whare, i rungi i tēnei o ngā kaupapa, koutou e whakakamohi i te hunga, ko mene ki te pō, tēnā koutou, 
tēnā koutou a tēnā tātou. Kei rā. Tēnā koutou. Te kimi nōna i te tīma tatanga. Te hi te wehi te wana o akutu kuna whākina mai kei o rangi kāhui kei laro i hoko te ana i hauraki kā hoki whakamuna ki puhirua te moe ngā roa te tini te mana o akutu puna o te waharo Tika ahau ki te hiwi i puketi Mā taki taki i hoki mō ko i aki Mō ana ki te roko rua nui a kau Ka mai au e whakaro a roa ka hi Koi au ki te putahi ko rā te i kohuna tēnā Whakawhiti atu i nga wai i o te awahau E tāne mai rā te hiwi i pūke roa kā he kei hoki te puna o te tāni whā ko te hai hai ngā o peke haua. Uri te tano i ki te hautonga ko te papa i o uru ko te pākira ko ngā papa ko hatu e nei o te araua. I te hira wai ki te whiti ngā mai o te rā Engari tēnei pō, ko te aroha me te mana tōtanga. Wai ho e rā atu ki te tāna. Nā re rā te te hono tātai hono, rā tau ki a rā te whakangaroani te au i te pō, ko tātai tēnei, te kanohi ora ki a tātau. Huri hui, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātau. Nā, whakatakotoa hia e ngā te whakau e i nā pō i te kaupo, i te āhua tango te mihi, a ko tēnei nā, Ka waiho mā te karekia tātau e noa ai Kia pupuri ai tērā ki tōna tapu, tērā ki tōna tapu Kā ri te tuari i te refa refa Nā ri rā Kia mana wa nui mai ki a mātau Engari koe rā te āhua tango tēnei wao te te mati uruta Ka waiho ki te chief nui, māna, māna te karakia e taki. Uru tia mai te tauro te rangikia tīnā ki a whēnā ki a toko te mana wāra. Tīnā toko te mana wāra ki hea, tīnā toko te mana wāra ki runga ki rāro ki wāho ki roto. Te rangi nui e tū nei ki a papatu e nuku e tako tō nei. Ki tēnā ki tēnā o kūtau i tāi mai a ki roto i tēnā o ngā tūpuna ware. Ki kunei wānga ngai, kōra roa i whakawhiti te tīwha kā roa i whakarongo ake ai. Ki te āhutong ngā kōra o rātau i rianei te pakitara ware. O rātau kōrero, kōrero, kōrero. Tīnā toko te mana wāra ki hea, tīnā toko te mara wāra. Tēnā o ngā kaupapa i karangahia mai ai. He ora ngā nui, he ora ngā roa, ko te hunga ka tāi mai. Tare ngā are are. Tare ngā are are are. He whakarongo ki ngā kōra Ki roto i a rātou, ka mutu ki ngā tamore ki mokopuna o te āpōpō. E kore mātou e wareware ki te āhua tango te honga kōrero. Ngari, he ora ngā nō rā, ka i roto i ngā kōro ka pote i te pōnei. Ka kawe atu ngā kōro ki a pote i te whare, a te pōnei, ā, hei tō hato, hei whāngai ki ngā uri whakaheke. Kia tāra a rātou, te kawa ki te ao, ki te ao, ki te ao, ki te whai iao, ki te ao mārama. O i arā e rongo whakāri a ki ronga, tūturo whiti waka maua ki a tīnā. Tīnā. Tīnā, haumi e, hui e. Tāi ki e. Kia ora tātai. Kia ora tātai. E toku pānui noa te. E whai whai hari ngā kōra, ko kōra rohia, nai mai e rarau ki roto i tō tātai tūpuna whai. So, kia whakapākea atu au ngā kōra. A me pēna i te kōra, hare mai. Mahi ngā mahi e hia hia tia nai kōtau. Ngari manaki kūtau i a rangi wewei, ki te kore koe te manaki a manaki rangi wewei, a are kūtau. Kamutu, aramai kūtau, whai whai hari tērā ahu tanga. Mena hea hea. 
Kaputai te whare, ko hare tātou ki tāo ngā horo, kai reira ngā e kaputi, e pakuti mā tanga kōrero. Ka mutu ana i reira, ko ki mai tātou ki tōnei, ne? I te mea, kai te hare mai a nā te tū reiti. E putu ko puta te kōrero, ka mai a tū rau, ko reiti, ka puta a, ko ngā uri, ko nā te tū reiti. Ko rā tau tēnei hare tūnei mai. Ko reira, e mihi atu ana ki a tātou, hare pēnei mai, ko hare tātou ki te kaputi. A, a te wā, ka rongo koutou i te tani o te tīpun. So, come around, do what you need to do to enjoy being Māori. Keep us safe, keep us all safe, and if you don't want to keep us safe, then don't do that. Just go straight over there and keep a distance. But we'll assume that you want to keep us all safe. Yeah? So, come around, keep us all safe. Or Hari Tātou will go and have a cup of tea. When you hear the, 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 uh, the, some sort of sound that could be loud, then we'll head back over here. Ka Timota Ngāko. Bye. Eko koia, e arai, haramai. Let's go off and get down. Take the bike up. The idea we want.
television rata te nei a kui hui ma whakahira hira te whanu kato te tiro whanu mūtua ko te whai ko tāna tūnāne ko tāna anti ko te māma o te whai i roko o tēnei whakātū i tēnei pō ko tai tara ko te kuku pāna ki pāna ki te pāna ki te whakapua ki tia e unā puka puka ki te imi tēnei te imi ka hono hono ka ka hara mai e nga tira ni wuhi kia whakanui kia kia tautoko i tēnei kūpa pa whakahirei wai mari aha nga te ngai ko te nina o ngā pūra o hiki mai ki te puna e nga wuhi e kua kaha ki ana i te hui e kuina kuina whanau te tiro ai mari karo o te ata hua tiro o tēnei whanau o tēnei a Tēnei hūpunga, tēnei whai Wai wai tapu Tēnei hau mai a noa Mui mai te whaka noa E kai te kai Tēnei hau mai a noa 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 Ugly weather. It's usually sunny and shining out here. Yeah. <laughs> There's a story. <laughs> uh, but I really need to see us all come together. I believe it was a really uh, great start to the proceedings in Apo. Uh, come with the couple, and we're really honoured to have you with us uh, in Maniwewe. As you've been this couple, I say to all of the organising committee, uh, uh, but to all of our organising committee, thank you for allowing uh, Rangi Wewe to be a part of the proceeding. And of course, it's uh, our co-quarter, a uh, part of important part of who we are as a people, and they will tell our stories as well. And uh, thankfully, uh, we have uh, others joining us. Just a couple of quick things, eh? Whare uh, Paku, if you don't know where they are, it's too late. Obviously, missed it, but it's in our Whare Kai. Look for a sign called Whare Paku and you're there. Uh, just an emergency, just out the door and uh, find a space outside. Just don't trample anybody on the way, okay? That's the main rule, so be careful with that. Uh, COVID-19, we talked about that, but I'm sure that, uh, as I said earlier, we wanted, hopefully, that you've thought about our people here uh, and that you've done the appropriate things before you've come here. Uh, book sales, I better mention them because they are very important in terms of uh, supporting this kaupapa. Uh, so books by the Kupu writers will be available after the event over at the stall on the other side. Uh, it's all set up as you saw. Uh, you, they do have their so, <laughs> so if you've got some money, uh, leave it in your pocket and use your EFPOS. <laughs> uh, but I uh, really appreciate the uh, effort of the sponsors and I'll go to them now. 
So that's Creative New Zealand, McLeod's Bookstore, One Foundation, Rotorua Trust, Te Rafiti, Te Tau, Te Rau, Rotorua Reo Rua, and Ngāti Whakau and Education and Downward Fund. So come into me, Kia Rata, say, do I have me? Waki Paki Paki. I want to also mention for those who are watching online, who will be watching online uh, for, uh, for, uh, for tonight, and appreciate them wherever they are, wherever in the world. That's the wonderful thing about technology now. Yeah. That uh, the kupu ka ka pai te kau, te te tuku, ki ngā tōpi tapu tō te ao, a pēnei tā tāmihana e kōrerona, a me pērā kātika. So thanks also to our kekau whānau, the miller whānau over here, and uh, looking after getting this information out. Kōro te mihi kia hua taka tō, thank you so much. Uh, but please share uh, on your local social media, and don't forget to tag the festival as well. And it's not just about tonight, but the whole festival. Um, survey forms, we're pleased to bring you this kupu festival, um, uh, uh, that we'd like you to, as in, sorry, I'll start again, that we'd like to do it again in the future, but that needs to be informed by a, some sort of survey form. So to help the, to design a festival that meets your needs, we ask that you complete an evaluation survey form. Uh, there should be some near or around your seat, wherever that might be. Is that true? <laughs> there they are, down the back there. Uh, so uh, so I, don't know, I don't know whether those forms are going to be filled out unless we get them out, so we better send them around if people get enough time uh, and Penny will help you at the door. <coughs> Talked about the sponsors, so thank you very much. Uh, 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 what else? I think we talked about them. And I do want to... Where is she? Oh, they're gone. I was just going to mention a final that came back tonight uh, that had won oh. since uh, talking about uh, Hinerangi Edwards. <coughs> How did you say it? Doing the dishes. Doing the dishes. As somebody that got a CMS or DLB, DLB or whatever it was from the Queen should do. Uh, uh, no, just uh, I wanted to acknowledge it. We'll leave that when she comes back into the funny with the Tamari Kamehameha. Anyway, tonight is about um, our important speakers. Uh, they bring uh, a huge wealth of knowledge and some background. We're lucky to say that we've got some of our own, and as mentioned earlier in the play quarter, uh, um, it's good for us to hear our own. Um, and as Carl said, we let them, uh, we try to stay humble. It's hard. <laughs> it's very hard, but, but we'll stay humble uh, for tonight and introduce them all. So if it's their night, it's their time. They have about 30 minutes with however they want to present their quarter, uh, so it's up to them. I just want to introduce you to, uh, to, to, to Arapine, uh, Walker, Nukume, Nazi Dangi we grew up here, of course, amongst our people and has done a huge lot uh, when she was very lot, a lot closer to home in terms of real development. And even still, her whānau is very much in, ensconced in, ensconced. It's a new, that's an impressive word, eh? <coughs> ensconced. I'm <coughs> proud of myself for that word. I don't know how to spell it, but it sounded good. Uh, anyway, uh, ensconced in so many activities around Te Reo, and so coming to me, Kiawe, it's really neat to have her home, but most importantly, I doubt the writings that she's going to present to us tonight. Obviously about uh, Te Rangi Kaike, uh, 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 for your pleasure. I didn't, rec didn't know that she went to Hukarere uh, and then on to uh, University of at Otago. Uh, there uh, she started to get an appetite for the writings of we, uh, my Terangi Kaiki, of course she should, because that's her tupuna. Um, and over time, as uh, the brief said about it, that she developed a passion for understanding and getting to really down, down to grips with what uh, we, we my Terangi Kaiki was all about. So without further ado, uh, I want to ask you to put your hands to get together for her and the whānau tonight, who are going to be outlining, I suppose, some background about the research and indeed. Uh, we mai hei te rangi kāke, a tūpuna nō kunei, nā nā nō rā nā kōro i tūku, ki te ao, te tīma tango mai o te ao Māori. Me pēnei rawa te kōro tāni te mihi, anu i te harikoa ko tāi mai tō ki mai koe ki te kāne i te tūmi. Kei ako i te mā, te wā, me tō hoa rangi tira e noho nei, nā tēnā koe, tēnā koe, kei ako te wā. Mai te pakita. Tēnā hoki, koutou ngā kanohi o 
Mohio Paya, Tinaku, Chris, Purakutu Wangi, and Napier, and Ku, Kurawa, no hooking a Kai, a Kuru within a Kuru and a Tina Kuru, um, Tina Koto, Kaku Fanaga, or Nati on Yuri, Nuitunu, um, being a Manu Hidi, the time like it in a Kutina Kutu. I can't tell you how awesome it is to come back into this place. I feel like we've been kind of uh wehe wehe tato yeah tato fali kina e not to wing uh two art or tanga on uh to e do a kohi ba to name uh and maybe new happy kita kuna fali, tawoke haimu, maybe tonu king uh two puna e yana in uh pakita or tina fali. Um I'm just gonna give a short kind of uh Tell me what we're going to do tonight. Um, I was a bit kind of um, surprised when I got a call from Mark about to say, I've been talking to Yvonne and she said, Mau te kōrero a te rangi kāhi te katapoto i rotu i tēnei weekend. Okay. Um, and so I started thinking again about um, this festival in terms of kupu and the role that Tirangi Kahiki has played in writing and his influence over the years with what he's written um, over a hundred years ago. So um, I'm going to give a short summary of him and his writings and his life, um, which I feel a bit of a fraud actually because so I was thinking there's probably people in here that know more about him than I do. Um, I was like, oh yeah, te mōhiwa, hōhua, te mōhiwa, tēnā, tēnā, hōhua nō. Tera pe he tana te tauhau, uh, ki konei no reira ka, ka tino uh, whakamārama i ana tuāhua tanga katoa i tēnei pō. And then I thought <coughs> after that um, we'll read uh, a story from this book, um, Ngā Tanepa o Tau, uh, which is the, from the manuscripts of We Bite and Tanika. Um, can I have the first slide, please? If I can put it up. Wurubu, Waihi Terangi Kahiki, Nongati Rangi Wewehi. Now, he was saying Nongati Rangi Wewehi in his time, Kari Tua to, to my Tolaiwi Nongati Rangi Wewehi. And uh, that was what I uh, found when I started to research. I, I was at, um, so I wasn't at Otago, I was at Canterbury University. <laughs> And I thought I'd do Māori studies because I thought it might be easy and I might meet some other Māori people. <laughs> <laughs> I did the second thing, all right, but uh, Māori wasn't that easy. And um, in my third year, we started looking at Māori writers, uh, 19th century Māori writers. And this name came up and I thought, I'm sure I know that name, it sounds familiar. I went home and I said to my father, Dad, who's one of why he did you can't get from Ngāti Rangi Rangi? He's like, jeez, he's in the phone down in Mauro. And so that's when I began to um, to look at him as a writer and as, um, <coughs> I guess, as a historian as well uh, back then. And as the years rolled on, um, I found out more about his writings and um, in the end I did my uh, master's thesis at Te Wānanga, the Raukawa, based on, on his writings and uh, what he did. <coughs> and even though it was a thesis about um, a tūpuna, um, this is not an uh, academic treatise. I'm talking as a descendant of we white and black, which is quite different. So if you were coming here thinking you were going to get an objective, <laughs> academic type of view of him, then I'm sorry you're going to be disappointed because I'm absolutely subjective. Um, I named my daughter Te Whai Mā Tauranga after his daughter. She named her baby, a selected on the back, we white. So, you know, it's a very subjective view, um, and that's how we are. You know, you look at our Māori, our Hononga, Papa Papa, our Kitenga, no matter here, Te Ahua Taku, Kuru. The next slide, please. Um, so yes, he was undoubtedly from here, and I spent uh, two years looking at in depth at his, at his writings and finished that somehow by the skin of my teeth in 2015. And I've also um, done a book uh, based on his 
um, on his manuscripts that was um, published by the Ministry of Education in Hana, uh, Hana Limited, and that came out, I think, in about nine, uh, 2020. Um, and that's the table there. So I'll tell a bit more about that before our readers read us one of the stories from the book. Next one, please. This is a picture of, oh, before we go any further into this, I forgot about you know, copyright and all that sort of thing. So I'm going to say straight out, these pictures in here are not my pictures that belong to the Auckland um, Public Library, to the Turnbull Library, and to some other organisations. Um, I think the only picture that we have um, that isn't somewhere else and held by some other organisation is probably that one over here, that big picture of him. Um, the rest are held by um, other institutions. So Ngāti Rangi Wewehi, Ngāti Kiriru, no Ngāti Kiriru uh, Wee Mahi. His parents were Te Rangi Kāheke, his father was Te Rangi Kāheke, his mother was Pāpaka Kaihau from Ngāti Kukia. There's a lot of debate about when exactly he was born, and I've looked at everybody's thoughts of uh, David Simmons and Margaret Orbell and Jennifer Kuno and my own Iwi. We had our own, our own uh, story about when he might have been born. So I think narrowing it down as closely as I can, somewhere between 1815 and 1870. So you can imagine what the world was like in those days. You know, that very, uh, for us in Tarawa, it was quite, it was probably before the initial contact with Pākehā people. Um, when he was born. So it was after he was born that half the people started coming into, into our world. So it was at that very initial contact stage that was his life. Tukotoru Ana Tamariki, he had three children uh, from, from his first wife, and her name was Mere Piripini. And my grandmother was also called Mere Piripini. Um, he had two girls, two daughters, and a son. Unfortunately, the son was killed in battle. And um, and he, the, the son also had two children, and those two children didn't survive either. Mm. So his children came from his daughter Hiya Hawa, and his daughter Te Whai Mā Tauranga, um, did not have any issue. Mm. So the children, descendants of Wee Mai, he come through that that um, daughter Hiya Hawa, and that's where, where we come from. And so. He had three women, as I understand, was common in those days. He, um, his first wife, Mere, and then he, he aiki eta, he, he te matingatu o tana tama, he hono tahi aia ki te wahine o tana tama. Probably to keep those children in, in his whanau. And then he also had another wife after that. So three women, um, that initial contract period with European culture and people in those days, and we know that he died in 1896. So he was, he lived for quite a long time, in his 80s. Um, and that picture there is, I think that's the one from the Auckland Public Libraries. And I understand that that gun that he's holding, we have somewhere, some, someone in the front that has that gun, still. Um, so, point up. Next one, please. <coughs> he had a very interesting life, much more interesting than mine, I think. He, um, he grew up here in Rotorua. Um, remember, he was in that initial contact period, so while there were Pākehā people coming into this area, he was very much brought up in that time where he knew ngā tawhai, ngā patu ngā tētahi ki tētahi, tētahi iwi ki tētahi iwi, i roto ngā hapu era tu a hua tanga katu. Um, and when he grew up and he had his children, he um, he became known for his activities within, within our, our hapu and iwi and lived for a time in Makoya, he lived at Ohinemutu, he lived in Auckland, and, but he eventually came back here and he died in Oka. Um, the first part of that, he lived with Governor Gray. That, now that's the really interesting story. So, Governor Gray first came here in about 1849 when he was appointed as the Governor of New Zealand. And one of the first things he did was to travel around a bit. So he started in Auckland, he arrived in Auckland, and he travelled down to Taranaki because it was, it was 
the remote and stuff going on in Taranaki at that time. As he was making his way down to Taranaki, he came here. And apparently he came to see the Kairo. But he Kairo was somewhere else. But he actually came, I believe he came here to Oahu. And it was there, it was then that he met, that Gray met, um, we Mighty. And it was at that time, at that meeting, that we Mighty gave him the manuscript, which has become that story of Gautani Kautani. So he was writing um, way back then, 1849, 1848. So he, um, he was writing in Te Reo Māori, and he was recording lots of things that he probably grew up with, with the stories of, around here. Um, so he, he, he took us a tino koi, he tino kakawa, he tino um, tene ia ki te whakamahi tenei uh, hangarau hau, te tuhi tuhi. Um, and when you read his writing, he was uh, quite, um, you know, his writing is quite structured in a, in a particular style of writing. Um, over his life, he had various <laughs> roles with te koti whenua Māori, um, as a kai tuhi, as a kai uh, pupuri ngā, and he was active here and around uh, around Rotorua. Uh, he one of the things that I think is interesting about him is that he uh, he he lived with Gray and taught Gray. This is the story. He taught Gray to our mum because at that time that when Gray came over, he believed that he can't get there. If Gray could understand our language, our mouth, he would be better able to, to do the role that he's meant to do in this country. We'll debate how that went, but that's his story. And so he lived with him and his family, uh, two children by then, and they lived with Gray in Auckland for a number of years. And while he was living with Gray, it's where he wrote a lot of the stories that we see now in our Mahiara Tupuna and other of the books that, that Gray had published. So that right, that really uh, intense writing period was in that particular time when he lived with Gray. But the um, things that he wrote were then for Gray and not the only things he wrote. He also wrote other things. We'll get into that in the next one. Next slide, please. Kuana Tuhinga. So we believe that there's probably about 800 of the pages within Gray's collection that can be attributed either fully or partially to be mighty. So there were some some um, manuscripts he wrote, the whole manuscript. There were other manuscripts that he contributed parts to. So about 800 pages in all. He also wrote letters. He was a really, um, uh, what do you call it, he loved to write letters. He would probably be great on Facebook these days. <laughs> he wrote letters to, you know, to, uh, to Donald McLean. He wrote letters to the Queen. He wrote letters to Gray. He wrote letters to all those sort of people all the time. He wrote letters to other, other rangatira and other iwi. He wrote, he wrote lots of letters. And some of those have been um, kept in various collections like libraries, Turmoor Library in, in uh, Wellington, Hocker Library in the South Island uh, have copies of his letters. And he also put palmary out all the time. Mm. And when I was researching this particular uh, the thesis work, I found this palmary that, he, that was published in a newspaper. And it was, it said, Kinga Ranga Tira O Ngapu. I was like, what? Well, we'd be writing something like that too. And I read the Pānui, and he was basically saying to them, you know, Kia tu pato kei, kei raru anō te, te whenua nei, te pakara, tētahi ki tētahi. And it was signed by him, whatever <coughs> my te rangi. He was like, wow. So, you know, I say to my Ngapu, he that's why I can't help telling you what to do. <laughs> <laughs> so he, um, his, his collection of writing has had lots of influence um, right down to now. And some of the things, some of the um, writers and um, academics that have studied his work throughout the years, Bruce speaks in his book on Māori marriage, a lot of that was taken from We Mighty's uh, manuscripts. Margaret Orbell, when I went to Canterbury University, Margaret Orbell was one of my lecturers. And she uh, transcribed and translated quite a few of his manuscripts um, at the time, and that was part of our, our work at the university back in those days. David Simmons, David Simmons did a really good job of going through um, Governor Gray's collection and 
identify who wrote which parts. Um, Don Stafford, of course, in Tiarama talks about we Mai, and it was from Don Stafford that I got um, way back in the days. I think I was still at university. I wrote to Don Stafford and said to him, "What do you know about <coughs> we Mai? Can you tell me stuff?" And Don Stafford sent me a picture. In those days, it was a like a photograph of the obituary that was um, published in the Hot Lakes Chronicle when we might have died. And I've still, I think I've still got that thing somewhere. <coughs> uh, so Don Stafford was another one. Jennifer Kuno did a lot of work in kind of bringing together and doing an inventory of all of his writings. Kaanui Akumahi Kia, it was a big job. And so she, and, um, when you study his, we might his writings, you need to have Jennifer Kuno's anthology, this inventory mm -hmm. next to you, so it's much easier to find out where you're going. Um, he, all his writing that we have is in Te Reo Māori. Um, Jennifer Kuno um, says that she thinks it was because he didn't know English. I'm not so sure, because he was so, you know, so onto it. Um, I think he probably did speak English. Um, but maybe his fluency in English wasn't as, as great as his fluency in Te Reo Māori. So all his writing is in Te Reo Māori. And he has a very much an iwi specific mm. perspective. You know, um, at these days we talk about this thing called Mātauranga Māori. Um, in his time it was very much Mātauranga um, Ngāti Rangi Rui, Ngāti mm. um, It was that kind of um, specific and that focused. Um, in all his, in his writing, some of his manuscript, he, uh, he talks about Whakapapa, for example. But when he's talking about Whakapapa, he's making connections between the Siri and the Niri and the Atira Niri and Tarawa. Of course, we're always the two of them. His writings are, you know, are he taonga on the tuhinga because they tell us so much about um, what it was like uh, through his times and in that very early contact period. Next slide, please. Um, so really for, from my perspective, what he was talking about was this thing called Mātauranga Māori. Mato Mato he wrote a lot of historical accounts. Um, he talked about, for example, you know, that was him, the Te Urokohanga Mai of Teao. He talked about, he wrote about the migration from Hawaii to here. He wrote about the settlement around here when we got here, what happened. Um, so that's a big part of the writing that he did for Gray. He also has some original writing, his own writing. He uh, wrote a manuscript that um, Margaret Orbell transcribed and translated called He Moi Moya, that was kind of his, his ohaki, I suppose, mm -hmm. where he um, was talking about what he thought was what could happen to, to our people. And of course he wrote lots of letters, he loved writing letters. Um, he, and he wrote lots of explanations of this world. Uh, he talks about dialect in a couple of manuscripts. Ngāpui, he compares Ngāpui dialect to Tāra dialect. Uh, he talks about Tā Moko. He talks about Māori marriage. Um, many of these things that are that have been used, uh, you know. Now I remember, um, I remember Uncle Mitsu ringing me once and saying to me, "I don't really, do you know if we might he wrote anything about health and safety on Waka?" <laughs> um, no, but I go to a look. I, I couldn't find anything. Sorry to say, um, but you know we we can always go back and look at his, his his writings and see what they what insights they can offer us now. And I think there's still some some of those that we haven't uncovered. Uh, it's really uh, one, one of the things I found when I was doing my thesis is that the kind of sexy stuff, you know, the <laughs> origin of the world and the um, the Atua, all those stories have been studied quite carefully and quite in depth by many people over the years. Um, but there's things as yet untouched in his, in his writings, the whakapapasa. And I guess because you know, some of people would say, well, you see one whakapapa, you see them all. But there was always a reason behind what he was writing in terms of whakapapa. It wasn't all the same, and it, it was for different reasons. So I think there's lots of um, work still to do, if anyone's looking for work, <laughs> to look at his manuscripts on Papa, <coughs> on Karakia, on Waiata. Mm. There's still a lot of um, unexplored stuff here. And we are lucky enough to have the full collection of his manuscripts, copies of his manuscripts, 
here and then onto the public library and the original uh, still held in the Auckland libraries uh, within Gray's collection. Last one. So I just thought I'd summarise um, some of the things from his book. <coughs> Papa. Papa Papa is the framework for making sense of the world. It's, it's, you know, stands out in his work. Te Ao Marama, that trans, transition from uh, that passage from unknowing to potential to knowing, Te Ao Marama. That's, uh, you know, that's highlighted in his work. The human nature, how, our, how we are derives from the origins of our world that in his writing. His outlook was undisputably Tarawa Gautiangiwe, and that's how he looked at the world, Māori and Pākehā. Mm -hmm. Narrative and Whakapapa are the tools and framework of his Tarawa worldview, and his writings, I think, the Kōrero Tukuribo in particular, were written as oral narratives. Because if you think about it, he was writing from an oral culture. Mm -hmm. So I think that would be So that's that's my part. Um, what we thought we'd do. So um, um, I was lucky enough to uh, work with the Ministry of Education to produce this book. And when I first started looking at it, I was thinking about his manuscript about the three Tanifa in town. Not the only three Tanifa, but these particular three Tanifa. And, um, and I thought I would rewrite the story. So I kept researching and researching his documents, his original manuscript, and I, and I got to the place where I thought, oh, I can't write it any better than he can. <laughs> so what we ended up doing, I worked with the publisher, what we ended up doing was um, kind of updating his manuscript for today's audience, for our tamari ki and kura kaupukumani. So some, in some areas we had to change some of the words because it was too dense, it would be too hard for our children to, to keep reading it with his language. Um, and then other places where we could leave, you know, where there was enough explanation in the text, we left the ten types of karakia that he's talking about, or the eight types of kākahu in the tanefa's belly, or the 15 types of knives that they use to cut the tanifa up. So all those things I left where I could and um, updated the things that we needed to update. And so this, um, the book, is based on his um, his manuscript here called Tanifa. And we thought today, we, had, we thought that we would read one of the stories and what else could we read but Peke Hauma because uh, we're here, and so um, we're going to start with Te Whai, and then final, and then Bath's going to finish with the story. And um, so when you're listening to the story, these are like 90% his writing. ま、<笑><笑> Karomo te toko maha o ngāiwi o rotorua. Te rāno te tahi tanifa kai tangata kei te awahau ki noho ana. Kwa kite ahoki tēnei tanifa i pērā te ahoki te kitenga ni tērei te whenua i te mānia i kai ngaroa. Ko ngā tia haere mai o waikato o pātetere e ngaro ana ki whera nei. Ana ko o roto rua tira haere mai ana ki waikato e ngaro ana ki whera nei. Ka rongo rātau i enei kōrero, he oi, ka whakatika mai te rau māwhetu anō te tini kaitoa rā. Ka tai mai te rau māwhetu ki te awahau, ka kōrero tia ngā tikanga a kauti. Ka uia atu, kei whea e noho ana. Ka mea atu te hunga whenua. 
Hei tāra nei. Ko wai, ko wai hoki e ata ki te ana. Te rāpia, te pēna hoki me te rāpa matera ki kapi. Tātahi, ka tīkina he kare au te nahere, he hanga tāiki. Ko te tāiki, e rite ana ki te kawaka te hanga mai, he hopu ki te tanifa. He māro te kare au, he kaha te āhua. Ka tai mai, ka raranga ki te tarahike ki te tā taramoa. He niho niho kei ngā ota o tane kia hai hai a te tanifa i roto i te tāiki. E rua pea ngā papanga o te kareao, e toru rā nei ka oti. Ka whiria he taura hei tītikiranga ki te taiki, ka oti mo te tanifa, kari te tohu. Kā tahi ka pēratia anō ngā kōrero me tērā tanifa i patua rā i te tuatahi, kari te. Ko te āhua o te hau, kari te. Anā, ka haere te hunga rā me te karakia haere atu i ngā karakia. Ko ngā ingoa o ngā karakia, he puni, he wero tanifa, he tū māngai, he aha, he aha. Nā wai i tawhiti, ā, ka tata atu ki te taha ko te puna i noho ai a peke haua. Ko te ingoa o tau wa puna wai, ko te waroi. Hōho nūra wa te wai o te waroi, Mata o hoki te wai, ko te āhua o te wai, he mea rite ki te paunamu te wai. E huake ana te puna i te whenua, he wai Māori, he parakore. Ā, ka eke tonu ki runga ki te ua, ka eke tonu ki runga ki te pare pare ngā o te awa, ka mutu, ka karakia. He oi, ka nohotahi te rau mātutu i reira. Kātahi ka ui ui a tētahi tangata tino manawa nui o tau ope. Ka pakatika tētahi o ngā rangatira o te ope rā, ko pitaka te ingoa. Ka tau toko ngia ia e ana tuakana e ana teina. Ko pura hōkura me tana toki paunami, ko rere tai, ko rongo haua, ko rongo hape. Ka mau ki te taiki, he me puhipuhi arunga me ngā taha. Me raro ki te puhi, ki te huruhuru keru, ko ngā taura hoki, he mea pitiki ki te taiki. A, he mea rite hoki ki te kōhatu, ki rotu i te taiki, hei pakatoi maha. Ana, ka mākere te taiki ki te wai, me pita ka mā. Ka ruku hia ki roto ki te puna, e hua ki rā ki i raro i te whenua. E ruku ana te hunga rā, e mahi ana te hunga i runga i noho i runga i a rātou nei tini mahi. A rā, i a rātou nei taputapu i te karakia. He karakia katō ngā momo karakia, ko ngā puni, ko ngā karakia paparuhi, ngā karakia werowero tanifa, ngā whakapuru, ngā tū māngai, ngā whānga whāngai, ngā whakautūtū, me te tini o ngā karakia kia moia, kia moikia, Kore te tanifa. Hi oi, ka ngohe ngohe rā pēr ngā tua tara o pite haue e nana nei ki te kai tangata māna. Ka tā tū iho a pitaka me tana tira ki raro. Roko hanga iho e noho ana te tanifa i tōna kai ngā pai. Ka tau are atu a pitaka ki te tanifa. Here here kau ana i te taura. E hā. Ko pita ki tua te tiratoa a pitaka. Kātahi ka kume kumea iho te taura nui, ka mōhi o te hunga i runga, ko arite. Kātahi ka hūtia ake ki runga, te hunga rā me te tarifa hoki, ka haere tahi ake rātau. O ti rā he karakia hiki, he kōranga, he whakamai ani, ake anō te tahi, he tino hoki, ngā karakia. Nā te toimato o te tanifa, he maha ngā momo karakia i karakia ai. Nā wai i raro, i raro, ā, ka mārewa ki runga manu ai. He oi, ka toe ki uta takoto ai. Ā, hohoro kau ana te tangata, ki te āki i te patu, ki ngā kau ai o te ikara. 
he rite te tanei whanei ki te ika, tā te me no te wai anō tēnei. He oi, he oi, kā rangona, kā rangona, te karanga ki ngā pāka toa o Rotorua, kā huiwi i mainga iwi, ki te mātaki taki i tō rātou wariri, kua koi ki uta, te koto ia, he tohora nei anō. O tira ki hai i tino rite ki te tohora matua. Engari he mea huau a te tohora nei o te tani pā kā tuki te taha o te awa. Kā tahi ka hāhai, hai hai taua i ka nei, hei kai mā rākai. Pā whāratia tūritia te riu i te tuku, ta koto mai ki atu, ta koto mai ki anō ko te riu o tāni mahuta. Kā tiro hi a rawa iho ki roto i te puku, he pū kei ana, te mahi, a te tū pāwhaku, he ana ko wai anō te āhua, te pū kei kua paura wā te noho i ngā rā o mua. Ka puta nga ngā wahine, ngā tāmaiti, ngā tāne, te mahi a te kau wairo, a te tūpini, a te matakiti, a te pūā. A, e kahumi tāniko, e te tini o ngā kākahu. Ko ngā rākua anō, ko ngā tau, ngā tokotoko, ngā mere, ngā onewa, ngā patu, ngā parawa, ngā parawa roa, ngā maipi, ngā pūwhenua, me ngā paiaka anō te whare puta a Māui e kā pūkei. Ka tahi ka tutua ki te taha, hei kai, hei hinu, te ngako o te tanewha, hei wei. Tua ki ki roto i ngā puku, engari ko ngā tūpāpaku i tāne mea ki te rua. Mutu ana te mahi, ka hoki te tini katoa ki tō rātou nei kainga anō. Ko mā ngungu i te ingoa o te pā i noho ai rātou. Nā te mahi pērā, ka waia rātou ki te kaitanifa. Hei oi, kei te au hau tonu i te puna o te warauru, te warauri, e hohonu i raua tonu, te wai, he mātou tunu ana te wai, he mea i te tonu ki te peina mi te tai. He ua, he ua ke ana te puna i te whenua, he wai Māori, he parakore. He ai ki a ngā te rangi wewei, kei reira tonu i te Māori, o peke haua e te aki ana i a rātou, tainua ki tēnei rā. Tōra. Tōra tātou. Tōra. Hold on, hold on. 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 A couple of questions just to ask if anybody wants to give the opportunity to just to grill a little bit. Because you should be up for, you know, a little bit of grilling when you're just delivering to such an auspicious occasion. So any questions if anybody want to ask about what she's talked about and indeed uh, the mahi that she did. Any questions? Besides, where do you get the book? How much does it cost? Uh, te kaumari matau. Kaumari matau. There's three tanifa in it. Yes. Any questions? Why mama ka na tanifa i tua to peke haua? Ko hutu puku, ko peke haua, ko kataore. Kataore. Ko hea nei tanifa. Kataore no Ngāti Pikiao. Questions? Thanks very much for that. Um, I just wanted to know where did he learn to write? Um, and uh, in my research, um, Jennifer Kuno was of the opinion that he learned to write from the chaplains, from Thomas Chapman and his wife, when they came here. Now that was about 1820 to 1830, around about that time. Uh, that was that was Jennifer Kuno's opinion. Um, here in Ngāti Rangiruahi, where we were, when our people here were doing the research for our claims, what um, what we think is that he was taken up north. 
that he was a child when uh, Hongi attacked um, Mokoya Island and he was taken with his mother. I think his mother had two children at the time and they were taken into Ngāpui. Now if you think about it, in Ngāpui they already had missionaries and schools set up in their yeah. So we think that he probably learned to read and write when he was up there which would account for some of the manuscripts that he wrote, because he, he wrote quite a detailed manuscript about the uh, discussion about the uh, dialect between differences and similarities between Tarawa dialect and Ngāpū. Now, he would have had to have spent some time with Ngāpū to have understood that those dialectical differences. So um, I think there's a, there's a bit of evidence to say that that could be, could be correct. Um, and the other thing is that his father, which is so coming, is his father had to pay a ransom to get them back, to get his wife and the two children back. And I'm, I don't, I haven't been able to find out what that ransom was, um, but that's that's um, detailed in one of the um, the wire that his father wrote about having to do that. And um, yeah, so that's what I, I think it's. That sounds more correct to me that he mm. knew up there because what his knowledge of writing was so um, developed, so well developed by the time he was an adult. When when he wrote were the words separate or were they all joined up together? It's <laughs> <laughs> a question there. I'll try and fight it up. Um, that's a good point. Um, so when, when you, if you go and have a look at his original manuscripts, some of the words, it, like he doesn't use the same orthography way of writing that we do with Te Reo Māori today. He didn't have to use macrons, for example, but in the book there are macrons. And some of the words he wrote together, like ite, mm -hmm. he would have written as one, mm -hmm. one word. Mm -hmm. um, and some of them were quite separate. So they, you have to kind of get attuned to his style when you start studying the manuscripts. Um, but it's, it's very, um, you know, it's not difficult once you get into his way of writing and recognising how he wrote certain words. So some of them were together, yes, and some were quite, you know, as we would write them today. And it's really interesting some of the phrases that he uses um, to, you know, that he uses in his manuscript that we think today would not sound quite right. Mm. Um, but when he was writing, that was how he wrote. Hi, I'll phone a lot. Just on that note, have any of his manuscripts been turned into an audio file? Uh, you know, I suppose to hear the the language, uh, and perhaps that's a, a a medium that can help. Uh, what is it with the divide of people who are reading versus those who are who listen to it? Mm -hmm. Is that something that's been considered by Ngāti Rangi Wewe? Um, not not as such, but I, I know there are kind of um, moves afoot in terms of his original manuscripts to look at the digitisation of those manuscripts <laughs> and so that's something that we have to talk about in Ngāti Rangi nice. Wewehe. Um, while I'm not anti-digitisation of, of manuscripts, I think there are some issues with that because when you digitise something, mm. you've got two fera ki te ao. Mm. You know, once mm. it comes into mm. an online space, mm. you have little to no control mm. over what happens to it. Mm. So I think there's some mm. issues around that, but I, I get your point and it would be really good to have someone you know, someone like, I don't know, we have to have one of those people from the, <laughs> from the Te Reo version of, um, of the Lion King, perhaps, <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, to read his manuscripts. Um, it would be really, really good. Last question. Ka pai a pini yun yo whana da mahi then you're doing one of our revered ancestors. Uh, I thought I knew every square inch in, in um, Awaho, but where did he live? Where, where is this buddy? Where was this buddy? It's on road. That's a good question. And like I was saying, he, he was 
He lived in lots of different places throughout his life, like most of us do now, but we think of it in those so they, they lived and died in one single place because they didn't have cars. But he actually moved around quite a lot. And I think that kind of speaks to the way our people were in those days. You know, so when things were, when the trout, well not the trout, but the, the native trout were fat here, then you probably lived here, around here. And then you went over to, you know, to the coast when, when there was kai over there. So they moved around a lot. He did live, um, there's detail about him living on Macquarie Island itself. Yeah. And he had a place there which he, which was called, um, it's in one of Don Stafford's books, the place where he lived over there. And um, Titi Tai was, a, was what it was called where he lived over there. He, um, I forgot to say, when he, when he passed away here, um, the tangi was at the river mouth. Oh. There was a whare there, yeah. and if you read the the, um, the Hot Lakes Chronicle, for example, the obituary are there, which is much easier to get now. You've got the National Library uh, digitised yeah. all the newspapers, um, but they had a, there was a whare down there, and that's where they had his tangi, which apparently went on for a week or so. Mm. Yeah. So I think he lived all around here. I think probably up Central Road might have been one of those places. Kuera te take kua. And, and, and of course in Auckland. Now I've been trying to figure out where in Auckland he stayed. I think it's somewhere around Carnell, around that area, because that was the only area that was really settled when, when Gray moved over here the first time. Yeah. <laughs>
in my humble opinion, uh, <laughs> uh, along with many others over time. So he's a storyteller, he's also a television producer, he will currently be training up a new set of journalists from uh, uh, up at Māori Television, Whakāta Māori, who relaunched this week. Uh, he's also uh, done so many things with his, not just him, but his whole whānau in the space of keeping our reo alive and the, um, not only the recognition of our reo, uh, but the whole presentation of our reo to the mōtu. We have a huge debt to owe him and his whānau, uh, I believe, and we're so fortunate to have him with us. I can't exactly tell you what he's going to talk to you, but I heard a hell of a lot of it on the fire this evening. But when he started and talking about coho and storytelling, I suspect it's along that sort of line. Uh, but I would, would ask you all to put your hands together and welcome Chris and anyone else who's with us. Thank you. Still, uh, still in Ngāti Tūwhare Tua land with all the many thousands of mokopuna uh, and I'll say this is that uh, you know when the education system didn't deliver for him and his whānau he did it himself he educated his whole whānau and all their uri in te reo Māori in a way in mātauranga Māori and through Māori eyes that's a huge commitment and I think that has set the platform for so many others to learn from Chris, they are with the wake in Ngāti Straight. The two he could put the two he called over Maui Waho with the Maui Waho, the Tipu now to Pakeha. Maui Portiki, Kutota Tipuna. Maui Pai Kunga Uli Wahi Tradia. Maui Mua. Maui Mua Kayahi Tradia. Maui Pai Kaititonga o America. Maui Taha Asia. Maui Roto, America ki te ngota, puta noa. Maui Waho, ka puta ki waho. Ka puta ki waho, te mona nui aki wa. He ao mahe mātau ranga ki e te. Ko te kaupapi ho mai ki au. In English, this could I decolonize our ancestral word. Owa. Karo e mōhi. I know you put on a little here, Mama. My family does a different thing all together than from what we do. Maori world went that way, say, my family went that way. A completely different direction. And for the first time, I'm about to show you for the very first time ever what that looks like. It's a completely different world. I've not been free to speak to it at any level, at all, but I am. And I'm receiving and visiting the tangata kaiaia, the chihi o te peni, te nga kuera. Te wakapā a tanga mai o te reo o rangitihi ki au, ka aro hau ki te kaupapa, and I decided, well, I'll come along tonight. See what happens. This is a new thing. So, 40 years ago, as a young man, as a 20 year old, kids are 20, 20. I made a decision at the request of my family. I was a journalist in Auckland at a scruffy newspaper called Sunday News. <laughs> <laughs> After being a journo for a mere three to four years. I got a phone call from my family asking if I could come home and be helpful. I resigned and was back home in two weeks. My family asked me to teach our children how to speak Māori and I said, not a problem. You know why I don't speak Māori. You know why I'm not a teacher. Yes, I'm the baby. Yes, baby boy. None of that's a problem. 
see this type, different type of thinking altogether. Mm -hmm. So I did, I said, let's go then. I was sent to my father, where I sat at his ankles for seven years. Uh, I completely left the journalism world and all worlds and went into another space with my family. Stayed with my mum and my dad for seven years and I was the canoe between the grandparents and the grandchildren. Mm. By then there were at least 30 grandchildren. <laughs> There's now, I don't know, 100 and something at least. All of whom speak Māori. Mm. And it's different. I just have to say it's different. Mm. It's a language married to the action of its relationship. Mm -hmm. We understand what Tuakane and Taina are as an anthropological way in the university study and academic <laughs> treaties. Yes. <laughs> but what that looks like on the day is an action. Mm. That word, which is a sound, that word, it's a written word. Mm. It comes from a sound that goes kupu. Mm. That is not this kupu. That is the written form mm. of this mm. kupu. Yes. This thing, kupu, is not that. Mm. That is a symbol for it mm. to lead our eyes into our brain, <laughs> say. <laughs> this thing, the kupu, belongs to the world of gods. Mm. These words are difficult in the English language because as soon as I say the world of gods, your mind is gone. Mm. Wherever it's gone. Mm. None of that is what this is. Mm. None of it. Te mm. awatua o tātua mātua tīpune tākina mai nā e tōna kupu he aoki. It is not the world of God. There yeah, again, your mind has just gone there. Wherever that is, that's personal to you and your opinion. That's not sky and earth. That is not an opinion. Because you can go like this. In my opinion, that's the sky. <laughs> Is it the sky, yes or no? This is Matauranga Māori, it's absolute. There are, you know, in the Pākehā world, absolutism comes through numerical through numbers. It's their best at absolutism. We have another style of thinking about that. What is absolute? There's the kōrarua, the kōrūni, the rinkāheke. Ka uti āia, tāna kōra kūtahi. Kūtahi te o mārama, kō rangi, kō papa. It's an absolute. What's mm. the absolute? Please look up and make a decision. Mm. Is that up and the sky? It's a decision you have to make. This is a completely different way of thinking about living mm. and reality. The reality you have in your mind, the worldview that you live in, the patumanua of your mind is a worldview that has been decolonize, all those sorts of words. They're not words that I know in my family. Mm -hmm. They're concepts that just don't exist. The Pākehā comes from Māori Wahu. Mm -hmm. That's it. Te nā koe. Me tō whare, mm -hmm. me tō hanga, me o whakāru, mm -hmm. me tō hanga. That's what you look like. There's no tohe. Go inside the house of Maui Wahu. And this is what it looks like. Not this house. The world we live in. This is the house of Maui Wahu. There are no surprises in it. That's Maui Wahu. Pull your zoom out. There's one of a number. Our house is completely different. 
It's a house belonging to Maui Portiki. Because these informed words of our ancestors have been reduced to fables, they no longer contain or hold the potency, the poignancy of the understanding of what sky and earth are. These two fundamental beings, as you are a being with a body that believes and thinks it is, they are no different, they're just big. <laughs> if you find this called a little strange, I'm sorry. I'm not used to speaking this speak in company. This is, my, this is the speak of my family, my wife and I, and our children for the last 40 years. We sing about it and we perform to it because to try and explain it, mm. the fundamental fabric of the teaching of us does not have within it what you could call the kanifa, which is the little sharp bit on a hook mm. to catch the fish. It keeps getting in its mouth and then coming off the hook. I know this because I've tested this corridor amongst many audiences from thousands of people to one on one. But I'm happy to be here tonight to, to start to start a process in this fight because of Derami Pahe. You know, when I came here today, tonight, I had no intention of speaking on the Pai. <laughs> Because I was speaking right now, so you get two and that's a bad thing. You're greedy. <laughs> but I was invited to and I was happy to because of the young man that spoke first. Paul Wood, a young man whom I know and admire from afar. I admire him really from afar. And just hearing him, hearing his words, the words of this house and of these people and the knowledge in it. It did something to my heart that, um, oh man, now, baby, your film else is just so cool. Mm. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Funny enough, Rudua uh, was around in the days that I'm talking to you 40 years ago in, mm. in Hamilton, ended up at three people with my mum and dad, and as some of you would have heard. I was their baby bag boy carrier person. <laughs> uh, and I learned their language of behavior. I didn't learn the Māori language till later in life. Those are words. Yeah. Tenākwe. Tenākwe is a behavior. It's a behavior of my dominion and the dominion of another human being. There is a space between us that requires a reverence if we are to not crash together. The spaces in between are up there, they're called moko tafa. These spaces in me. Well, everything I'm speaking to is the knowledge of every single house, Māori, Tipuna, or Mautiaru. Every single house. Whomever their Tipuna is. Every single house is blueprinted to another level of knowledge that requires a key. If you know where its lock is. Let's say Japanese, you know how Japanese make beautiful puzzles, mm. interlocking. Mm -hmm. The knowledge of your ancestors is exactly the same. Mm -hmm. This is where Ahulangi comes from. Mm -hmm. Ahulangi was made by my father and my mother, my father, or my Kore Mwanamati Hinekura, Tūru. And my mother from Tūrumakina, on the southern shores of Taupo, mm -hmm. Tūwhare. Mm -hmm. They, those two came together, made me a whare, called by my father, Ahura. Mm -hmm. 
And there's a 20 year old, Det Varko. You want to give me? It's hard to bring these things into Falipun because you're not allowed to. If you bring these things in, you have to turn them upside down and use them upside down because it's a killing weapon. It writes in blood. That's why I bought it. I don't want to freak you out, you know, writing in blood. Oh, here you go. <laughs> but it's all part. So I decided, oh, I'll go to Maui Taha side, Bembu. <laughs> nice and small. This is a book. Five cents from Maruti. <laughs> this, is, this is a book. This is a really big book. They all are. Mm -hmm. Every single one of these, from wherever in Aotearoa, mm -hmm. is a book. So if this is a book, this is a book, what's this thing? Oh, an encyclopedia. <laughs> when I say this is a book, it's because this thing writes. Let's go. I'm going to introduce you to something that the Rangi Kaheke beautifully wraps up in this first sentence. O tahi te matu o te rā, te ao Māori, o Rangi Nui e Tui Honei, o Papatuan e Takapuake. seen two letters being formed. Letter Letter Our Tohume known people said to us, don't ever say this I and this O don't ever say it as a word. That's what they said, eh? And we did it. I. Because we did, what's the sound it made? What's the sound this made? When you say this together, which they told us never to say. What's the sound you made? Yeah. Donkey. Oh dear. Mm. See, you said it. Mm. <laughs> they told us never to say it. <coughs> There's a reason why. This. This is not a word. Mm. Don't ever say it as a word. Because it's not a word. Tenara kwe kaitaku tirpuna kaitaku tahito kaitaku tipua kolangi nui e tui hone. Tenara kwe kaitaku kuya kaya kwe taku tahito kaya kwe taku tipua kopaka tsua nuku e taku tuaki. This is a fati. Mm. This is the lock of our old people. Mm. It holds the law of sky and death. This is not Matauranga Maori. Mm. This is Matauranga human being mm. of the law of sky and death. So I keep going? Yes. I don't want to freak anyone out. No. And I don't want to be the freaky guy. Because <laughs> you get those labels, eh? I've been the freaky guy all my life. 
Mm. You do when you're the freaky guy you don't speak. Mm. People think you're speaking. Mm. I have never spoken before. Mm. Understand this. Never. Mm. This alone is what I speak. Yeah. With my children and family. It is an entire knowledge beyond what we are currently have that was beautifully locked by your ancestors and mine everywhere hiding in plain sight just like it's in plain sight right mm -hmm. you've known about it for 150 years right mm -hmm. there have been theses and phds written about it right yeah. and nobody knows what the hell it is <laughs> right you've got to acknowledge this Otherwise, what I'm speaking to remains a mystery to you, something unobtainable. And it is absolutely obtainable. Not only is it obtainable, it is yours by absolute birthright. Uh, we are the descendants of Maori Portsuki. We are the last born of the human species and we have a purpose. Every single one of you knows this. <laughs> you know there's more going on than what's going on. <laughs> you know you cannot get to it. You know. We fight through Maui Waho's house. You know you cannot get to it. Because it's not in Maui Waho's house. It doesn't matter what's going on in Maui Waho's house. The law of sky and earth does not live there. There is no problem with Maui Waho's house. Understand what it is. The house of Maui Waho and it looks like that square. Nine. There is nothing to be said about Maui Waho's house except the <laughs> Mm -hmm. After 250 years, our difference is seen. Ten generations from the time the first foot, 1679, hit the ground running. There are reasons for that. This is the law of the old people locked in a different way. And my mum and dad said, go and teach it. I taught it to my babies. Is that your entire life, right? I didn't need them to know anything else, particularly out of that boy's funny. <laughs> it's just his, him and his funny, it's beautiful. You get it? Bro, open your eyes and look at mine. <laughs> it's the next part of the quarter. Otherwise you keep throwing stones at his house. <laughs> Why? Mm. It's not yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's only because you don't know where your house is. Mm. That's why this was left Te ngā koe rangi nui e tui honei, te ngā koe, papa tuan koe tō kūpā kēnē. This symbol, which they said not to say, and then we did eo, became, because we said it, what happened to it on the mere saying of it? Don't say it! We did. And it was placed in heart central Christianity. Mom. Beautiful, they are old people, aren't they? Just out the gate, the level of synchronicity. And if you believe your ancestors are, were, are intelligent, if you believe your ancestors. And if you track through those minutes, whether they are written in one big 5,432-letter Māori word, said as one sound, or broken up into words, 
made of silver rules. However, they were written. All of this has already been done for us. Our old people have left the king. That's what this is. To the lock. This is the Fati Tuka. It's the first of four. The Fati Tuka is a symbol. Langi. Pa. Its name is Te Wehenga. This is the symbol of the Oroko Hanga for the separation of Nangi from Papa. Because there's two of them. <coughs> it's a neat thing about writing in the air. <laughs> it's gone. You understand the beauty of this? What is it? Don't answer. Don't answer. There is a beauty in this, beyond this. This is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. This is not about knocking Maui Waho my bro. Do you understand this? From this man, my family, you will never, ever get any of us throwing stones at Maui Waho. Because we understand something. Bro, that's your house, eh? This life I live is from within your house. Too much. I'm leaving your house. I love your house, but it's not mine. Walk out, go into your house. Look at your house and go, Wow, I love this house. This is what I did as a 20 year old. And I never came out. So wherever I go, in Maui Waho's house, which has become a very large <coughs> house for Western civilization. It's a very big house. Wherever I go in his house, man, 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 I'm in mine. I'm in mine. Because I am, the law of sky and earth is available to me. What's the law of sky and <laughs> The law of sky and earth is the law of the greatest force in creation. Gravity. That means <laughs> if there are scientists amongst you, go and study what they mean. Here's what you'll find. The Maui Wobble's house of understanding of energy and power. You see how suddenly this conversation just got big? <laughs> you see that? Mm -hmm. We're now talking to a fundamental issue of the survival of our species, climate change and all that stuff. Why is that? Because of our pathetic understanding of what power is. What energy is. The summit of human energy is electricity. It's man-made. Because it's man-made, it's run out of things to eat, like humans. Get it? It's the biggest issue on the planet. For Maui Waho. Not for Maui Tōpōti. But because he lives the biggest part of our world, it suddenly is our problem. Yeah, some new techs needed to sort Maui Waho's whare out. If we get this right, what I'm talking to, then there's a Papa Tuanuku, which is a paradigm shift. And it's the paradigm shift 
from human-centric Maui Waffles House to nature-centric Maui Portuguese House. This is the movement from the power of the human muscle, I mean the power of the human muscle, muscle, to the power of nature, balance. This has nothing to do with muscle. What I'm doing is nothing to do with muscle. It's all to do with the kawawurangi me papa. This law is hidden behind the slump. Mm. You can't get it. <coughs> it's not a thing to be got <laughs> by this thing here, <laughs> where he, Maui Wapo, lives and situations, situates his house. This is not a thinkable thing. <laughs> it's far more profound than that. Thinking is a problem. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> you see how that works? <laughs> and it is as simple as that. Thinking is a problem. If you don't understand what thinking is, we think we do. From inside Marble Wobble's house. We have no idea what thinking is. From within Maui Portuguese house, we have no idea what thinking is within the law of gravity. See how the house went silent then? <laughs> you have no idea what I'm talking about. You have every instinct what I'm talking about. Mm. You have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> you have every intuition what I'm talking about. Mm. You see how profound this is? Mm. It's real. Mm. This is a law. It's not random. Your best wish that you ever wished <laughs> is the wish of the old people. Mm. It is the wish. The one you go to sleep with. About the mokopuna. They are the test of this law. That's how it works. This is the law of gravity, which is the law of sweet. Which is the law of grandchildren. Sweet grandchildren laugh, follow them. <laughs> Where they're going to is a place called Hawaii. <laughs> Beyond that place, Hawaii, they're going to come across another place called Lamiatea. There's a seed in there. That seed is a symbol, a physical symbol. It's the fourth of the locks. The first lock opens up this quarter I'm giving you. This quarter comes with laws, if you wish. Otherwise, you just do it. This law, Fatitoka, is to break open the mind of Maui Wall. All of our minds have been contained. They've been wobbled. They've been wobbled from outside the wall. They've been wobbled from outside the mighty Pacific Ocean, which is where we come from. The Nisian people, all of them, micro. Mela? Polly. All the Nisians. They bore this law. The word eel has nothing to do with this. Let's get rid of that because it's not a word. That's a lock called Rangi and Papa. It unlocks their law. What's their law? The law of gravity. Uh, Maui Wo only knows one half of it. Gravity falls down. What he doesn't know is gravity falls up. <laughs> I'm not joking. This understanding will change science. The, the current 
understanding of Western science is based on opposites. <laughs> He's the fellow who drew the rock from the stone. Excalibur is its name. This is our Celtic blood. Ike Excalibur. This is just the wooden one. Because my people love the, na the natural thing. If nature made it, then it's good enough for me. Maui Wahoo drew the ore from the rock and made a metal. And the drawing of that thing from the rock to make a metal, he went in deep and was able to create a false center in a cell to hold all the things going on in there, to hold them in a state of suspended animation. The ones that went over there, he called negative. And the ones he called over there, he called positive. He made a false center by using iron to cut it. Because he did that, these things going to the right and to the left of negative and positive, positive and negative, making a false center, they crashed together, thinking they'd had their center. And crashing together, they went, boom. That's atomic energy, nuclear power. That's what it is. This is the law of opposites. What Maui Wahoo doesn't know? <laughs> when you look at something, and you cut it and look at it and stop its process, what you're going to see is not its process. Because you cut it. <laughs> you stop the process, and we I've taken a snapshot of the process. No, you've taken a snapshot of you cutting the process. You've drawn knowledge out from that, and you've made this beautiful thing which has lit up the world and created warmth so that you and I can live better. Better for Maui Waho is at his own convenience, not nature's. That's the fundamental difference. Actually, you know, I think I've got half an hour and there's five minutes left. I need this one. My mate says, are you ready? Are you tired? Are you ready? Just who's sitting at the back He said, ah, just let Ududu I finish and then press my button. Because <laughs> he knows, you press it, I'll just keep talking. <laughs> Until someone says stop. The wehenga ulangi and papa. Ada pinne, ea hui. Me tiki na te kaupapa ki o hoatua no ki te ao homatua. Ke tu whera ai te tāhu o te ao Māori a tāta uri e hua mai ana i utu i tō tāua leo. Ke ata whanga i a mai rātau ki te kaua orangi rāwa kō papa. Ke alahi mai rātau te pītau whakarei o tō tātau waka o kura waka. Ki te ao i te ahi tāmo, huri mai i te ao. Ko te iho whanga i a te kui ai i a tātau. Me nana pātai ki a hōtu o te kura kau papa. And I am serious. If we were real, and if any of this resonates with you, do something about it. It's our kids. See, it's by right. This is what they've been trained for. <coughs> this law is theirs first. To take us to where the family of Maui, not just Maui Wall, the family of Maui Wall come from. Now, the family of Maui Waho is called one thing, human. <laughs> Where it comes from only knows the family of Maui Waho as a oh, human. It doesn't know them in any other way. The only thing that knows them in any other way is us. See, that's what happens when you think. Oh, I think. Yeah, that's the mate, eh? You haven't been there, you didn't do it. You didn't experience it. You didn't get the wisdom of experience falling off the spirals of your fingertips. Takalangi, sky fall. Sky fall. Gravity. The word of your old people for gravity. 
Takaleni. Takaleni, of course. Oh, you know, Takaleni, every spiral you see on our beautiful tipuna is Takaleni. This is written and coded on the walls of your house. You simply have not had the lock and the key to open the lock. The lock is the Fatitoka entrance. The Fatitoka is the double meaning. It's the entrance coming in, but not the doorway. The entrance. It's a Fatitoka. Fatitoka means open sesame, as in Aladdin. So we can genie us. That'll be you. It's not someone else. It's Dauri. Tata. Ake. There's heaps to say. Go in the second bit. Second lock. There's the O. There's the dot of the I in the middle. There's the I. See how that's an I? I'm doing this so nor random it's blowing me away. <laughs> but I think it's the most effective because if we do this one and I start. <laughs> I, think, I would say Urujo and me have been to more wānanga than people have had fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> and we are really clever now, <laughs> if Marvi wobbles away, of understanding ourselves. I have caught the PhD, MA, PA, whatever they are. <laughs> They're beautiful pieces of information through Marvi wobbles' eyes of understanding ourselves. <laughs> See how we know that Marvi Wobble does not understand us? See how we are still doing his way of not understanding us? Reinforcing our non-understanding of ourselves. <laughs> anyway, just winding down here. This one here, this is the second lock. This is where we currently are. This is a human state in your body. It's attested by the law of sky and earth and known and weighted by gravity in a special way that is hidden from us, but known to our old people and loved ever so brilliantly, we're so goddamn lucky. We truly are. These people, all our people, they did something amazing for us. So you would just not believe. Step out of that house. Step into your own. And your life will change. I guarantee it. This place, Maui Kotiki's place, can be found on your body here. Here. This is your belly button. Or, or you know, conspiracy theories is one question. Are you human? Show me your belly button. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's true. Show me your belly button. Wait. Are you a good one or a bad one? Alien or what? Maui Portiki's house lives here, physically in your body. All words coming from your mouth are made by the universe of your body. It is centered in your belly button, this universe. This is the center of the universe of this house. This house is an emblem of the universe universe. It has a center. The entire universe has a bang smack in the middle, boom, center. This is good to know, don't you think? See how it's not in his fuddy? See how his fuddy is beautiful and can go to bars? I'm not being smart as Kotore Mohi. Kotore Mohi. I know he's just said a minute now, he's got to finish off this statement. Oh, this thing here is called the Taranga. Bang, bang. Taranga, as in the name of this land. Teika a Maui tiki tiki a. Who would be? Oh, she's a lady, eh? Oh, that's where the hidden law is in writing in plain sight. Males. Is that where the hidden law of old people with all the slips? Yes. Males, good, eh? <laughs> All the debates gone. 
There's a Mao Waffles debate imbued into us. They don't exist in the house of Maui Pōtiki. Another level of understanding exists of what I am. I am a male of my species. That person there, this human being here, is a female of my species. I've been looking for her. Hello, darling. I'm still the mess. My sister. <laughs> you understand this? If you understand this, then you, your butt is my reporting. Because we got big thinking. We can't help it. We wonder why the world is. This thing here is the taranga. This is the time we're in now. The taranga is where Rangi falls to the centre of Baba. Cool, eh? Now you know they really aren't letters. <laughs> they truly are not letters. See how much that blows your mind? Mm -hmm. Sleep on it. Sleep on it and wake up tomorrow, tomorrow morning with the bloom of that sleep yeah. on your mind mm -hmm. in sentient form, which mm -hmm. just means be aware. Mm -hmm. The more you are aware of where the sky is, <coughs> where the land is, don't take it for granted. <laughs> I'm saying this because you're spinning. You are in a thing called the old hoodie hoodie. Mm. You know it. Mm. You sing about it. <coughs> you don't under you you are in a world that is spinning. Mm. Physically. You are not cognitively, sentiently aware of it. Sorry, that's how the this is how Maui pushing is what it goes. <laughs> anyway, the Taranga, we're in the middle of that. When the wehinga when Nangi fell outside of Papa, comes together. When that comes together, Maui Portiki's house stands. And that is the house of the last born of the species on planet Earth called human. That species got stuff going on. We'll tell you about that another time. It's big. <laughs> And it's about a thing, the greatest tonga of the Māori world, called Aroha. Aroha is a thing, people. It is the greatest new power of creation. Yeah. That's what this is all about. It's a power change. From electricity, human made. Muscle made. To the power of balance of the force of creation held by the law of gravity, held by eight gods. Two marveling, firstly. There's got to be something in it. 
Because I say that and I'll, I'll, and I'll be open that I was there and sometimes and I wasn't quite, but that's all good. Because that's what one and we're all about. Mm -hmm. To have a listen to Kōrero and mm -hmm. work it through. You ain't going to drop, the penny ain't going to drop in one minute. No. Uh, but there's got to be something there because when we look at our prisons and the number of Māori in our prisons, we know that how we try to re rehabilitate Māori is teaching, teaching them about our language, our culture, through Mauraco, through language, through rārana, through uh, those sorts of things. In other words, to try and re rehabilitate Māori, we teach them about themselves. Yeah, yeah. If we know about ourselves, we should be okay. So, and quite a bit of more on the idea of no tera fare o Māori wa. Boi no tera kore no tera. He pātai, pātai tā te hita, te tai. Pātai tā te hita. I think it was more of a dump. Dump. Think about it and wake up in the morning and thought about it a lot more. Yeah, yeah. I need to make a tie for good to know Pathai to what eat a whole of the time. You got any Pathai? Get the core? Get the pie. Done. I don't know. Might the pucky pucky for good. Well, organizers of our Kopapa, the wonderful thing is that you've got such a range of speakers, all come all together that people can actually listen and they'll think about what they're saying as a way of trying to keep us honest in this. Maybe a way of trying to work out at another level about this notion of colonization or decolonization is our next speaker. Uh, the the Tauke Teo Ngāti Rangi Wewahi, uh, the Tauke Teo Roto no, no uh, Ngāti Parau ki, uh, ki Te Awahau. Uh, <laughs> doctor in the house. Actually, there's a couple of doctors. Kia ora noa, nā mahi ko, kia kōrua. So our final speaker for tonight is Nepia. Uh, Nepia has a wonderful background in education. He's a doctor. Everybody wants uh, some sellotape afterwards, he's got some. <laughs> uh, I understand that he teaches at Waikato University, but I've got to say, I have not seen you around. <laughs> and I'm just saying, <laughs> I just because uh, I'm up there as well. Um, Nipia and indeed, Kotano Hora Matira, Nibaria, for Fai Fai Hari, Te Ahotango, Tene Mel Te Matauranga, E Roto I Tene Fana, no Mata Te Wai Mari, Ana, no Mama Irao, Moko Puna Moko Tamariki, Te Arata Te Ao. So he's currently, I'm told, convener of the history of uh, history at the University of Waikato, chair of Pauhere Kōrero, Māori Historians Collective in Aotearoa, most recent president of the National Oral History Association of New Zealand, was a Fulbright Scholar in 2013, was an inaugural recipient of the Judith Finney Fellowship 2019, his most recent book, Rethinking Oral Tradition, uh, Oral History and Tradition, was awarded the OHA or OHA Book Prize in 2020, and challenges non-indigenous definitions of oral, oral history practice, politics, ethics and theory. Uh, Nepia is currently working on an edited collection on global indigenous oral history methods and ethics and has just been awarded a Marsden grant uh, for through to the year 2024 to research Maori history concepts and pedagogies as a part of the New Zealand history <coughs> curriculum reset. Very lucky to have him with us along with our other speakers tonight, and indeed the whole panel throughout the whole of the week. Mm -hmm. uh, Tēnei <laughs> 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 
ki mai kia, mō mai papa kia, ki o haurangi, ki o Ngāti rangi wewe. Ki au, ki tēnei tāha o. O reira, mi mihi ki a koutou, tā kei aku ria, kai manawa o Ngāti rangi wewe. When I heard that I was coming here, um, it was an immediate yes. <laughs> yes, of course, uh, of course I want to speak. Um, and it's a real honour for me to speak here in this this party this side of my lovely wife uh, and her whanau. Uh, and uh, me mihi anō ki ki, ki o ki ngā kai whakarite uh, rangiti, uh, me ngā tūmau, uh, ngā ringa wera, koutou katoa. Uh, mō tēnei wiki. Um, it's an amazing kaupapa, actually, um, to think about this kaupapa for this week, to bring Māori writers together. Um, I think I spent too long in, with Māori wahō uh, in that world, um, going to conferences, you know, with these people, and um, we don't really get a lot of chances to meet with ourselves. Um, so we end up in my work and my mahi, I'm always standing in front of Pākehus, <laughs> wherever I go. So I'm always really happy to come back and speak to our own people. Um, so we seek that out in my mahi with our, our small rōpū, our Māori historians, Te Pauhere Kōre, um, just to strengthen each other as historians, uh, as writers. <coughs> And so uh, to have this opportunity to come to this um, writing festival, I'm really grateful for that and to be able to share a little bit about some of my writing and my book and some of the mahi that I'm working on. Um, I know many of you who are writing, you're probably writing a whole bunch of things at the same time, um, which is kind of me. I've got a little finger in a lot of bunch of little pies thinking about different pop up and projects that I want to finish. Um, but I thought today I'd talk a little bit about this book um, which was based on my doctorate. Um, I really hate talking about the PhD, to be honest. Uh, when I talk to my whanau, nobody cares about the doctorate. Okay? <laughs> um, but, you know, there it is. And uh, it, my interest in my PhD really came from growing up as a Nāti on the cut, uh, and, you know, having all my whanau at home um, talk about what it's like to be Nāti Pura. And um, so I grew up with that. Whakaaro nui um, in uh, Māori Pōtiki world uh, and being there um, conditioned me I guess in the, in the same way that Chris uh, was talking about. Oh, she was here, I wanted to thank him for his call. Mm. Mm. Um, and so when I came to the Whareuānanga, um, to uh, Māori Waho world, uh, I started to see, well I'd seen before then the way that our history had been treated. Uh, so I thought I'd talk a little bit about that first because that's sort of the background to the book. That's why I ended up writing what I did. Uh, and I want to start with Moana Jackson, um, with something that he wrote in 1998. And he said, uh, it's important for us to reclaim the right to define ourselves on our own terms. Um, it's important for us to reclaim our past and to reclaim ourselves mm. from the clutches of these people who had written about us beforehand. Mm. Now I remember reading that, uh, he wrote that in 1998, um, but if we go back and we think about what our other tipuna have said, they've said similar things. Uh, Ngata said it in his uh, correspondence to Te Rangihiro, uh, when he was writing about, uh, they were corresponding and thinking about the work of Alston Best, <laughs> and Percy Smith and Edward Trigger and all these people uh, around the same time as Te Rangi Kahiki. Uh, and they had observed in their writing the way in which our history had been uttered and it had been displaced, how it had been colonised. In fact, that was the title of Moana Jackson's um, piece, The Colonisation of Mātauranga Māori. And so in that, he was encouraging us as writers and thinkers and storytellers to reclaim our own stories and to reclaim our own history. So that really resonated with me, being a historian and studying history at Te Whare Wānanga Waikato and I hoki aku whakaru, aku mahara ki te kōrero, aku tipuna, aku pākeke, ki tēnei me te hetori, ki te hetori ki, ki tā te Māori tiroha. Uh, and that was really what started me on this book. Um, not that I was interested in trying to compare, although I did compare, um, the way in which we think about the past to Western scholars and how they think about the past. Uh, and 
there's, I suppose, something in there to make comparisons to see the ways in which we share knowledge and the ways in which we depart in our thinking. Um, but most importantly, it was to capture and rescue from this othering um, ourselves and our, our identities and the way that we had been made and remade by them over time in their writing and sometimes had been regurgitated and then repeated in some of our own writing, mm -hmm. which had been a real concern for me when I started to look at the way we tell stories. On a real simple level, um, usually when I'm teaching this in my courses up at the uni, when I'm talking about storytelling and history, uh, I think about it in multiple narratives. Mm -hmm. Big narratives, meta-narratives, grand narratives, mm -hmm. narratives of the self, um, all this quarter that we have. But for my upbringing, most of it was uh, uh, was never a quarter of the self. It was always a quarter about that connection um, to their collectivity, which is this ongoing uh, relationship over time. Um, and that's how we tell these stories about who we are. Um, and it's very different uh, to Pākehā histories and to their stories. So in their stories of us, um, we are savages, uh, we were backward, uh, we uh, needed to be saved, uh, we needed to um, grow up, to mature, um, we were seen as children uh, in many, many ways. So a lot of that narrative and that story, while it's saying that about us on the one hand, uh, and it's positioning us um, as other in our own country, uh, on our own whenua, uh, we're also having to deal with um, that reduction of us to mythology and to legend and to fable and fiction, which is really the thing I was most concerned about when I came to that kōrero, because I saw my tikuna Māori um, fictionalised in mm. like a Disney character mm. that we see now. Um, but I thought, no, he, he was a real person. He wasn't just a make-believe fantasy. Mm. He wasn't just a fable um, to us. So it was, for me, about reclaiming, like Moana said, the right to define my tipuna on my own terms, rather than have somebody else define him for me. Um, so that's really what led me to this book, Rethinking Old History and Tradition, um, was a challenge. This book really... I didn't write for us, I didn't write for Māori, I, write, I wrote this for an audience in America, that's why it's, you can't find it in many bookshops here. <laughs> it's, uh, it's part of the, the field of history that I wanted to challenge um, and to show non-Indigenous historians that Indigenous knowledge is important, that it matters, that we don't, we don't need to be objective. We absolutely, like uh, Arapina talked about, we can totally be subjective and that's entirely okay. Um, that's a part of how we tell our stories. That's a part of who we are. Mm -hmm. And I believed right from the outset when I was writing this book that all the knowledge that I was able to get in here from my, my whānau um, would be cutting edge knowledge in the field. And it was. <laughs> which really surprised me because when I went home, everybody, ah, we already know that now. <laughs> we already know all this story. But outside of here, just like Chris was talking about, so it was really awesome for me to be able to share that. And I was, to be honest, really surprised by the reaction. It won an award. They wanted me to go around and talk about all this stuff over there. Um, and to tell them about this cutting edge research, which was really just research, just called it all that I'd sat down with people from home and said, how do we do history? Um, but that's the really cool thing about Māori knowledge and Māori writing, is that we, I come from, uh, we, we look at what our ancestors have left us, our, our kōrero tukuiho, our kupu, our tohu tohu, kupu taki taki, and then we think about how we are going to engage with that order, be part of that one, part of that discussion in our own writing. At least that's how I was thinking about it. Um, in the saying, mm. I thought, well, they've left me this, this library, my library, <laughs> that I can call on and I can use in my writing um, to write about who I am and who my people are. Um, so that's, the, that's my archive. Um, like this archive here, mm. uh, for Ngāti Rangi Wewehi. So that was where I went to, um, to write that book. 
Now I'm not going to go into the detail of the book because um, it will probably be too boring, I think, <laughs> <laughs> to talk about too much of that. I'll talk a little bit about some of it. Um, when I decided to look at the Skopapa, um, I wanted to challenge the way that non-Indigenous people thought about oral history. Mm. Because oral history to them um, were just interviews. Mm. That's all they are, the interviews. Um, any kōrero beyond the lifetime of an interviewee, mm. um, for them is seen as oral tradition, mm. not oral history. Mm. Mm. And that really struck a chord with me when I started reading that mahi in Western historical mm. literature. I like, hate to hit there, I forgot. Mm. Um, they're wrong. Um, and so that's where I sort of got started on that. It's thinking about the form of an oral history. What does an oral history look like? Uh, and we can see them um, all around this whare um, They are multi-sensory. They're not just recorded audio interviews. Um, they're things that we live like we saw today in our whakata, uh, where we tell our histories and we tell them together. Um, so I'm taking that to uh, America and to other parts of the world, and they're like, wow, this is amazing! <laughs> Dr. Mahuiga? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, you're, you're very smart. <laughs> it's my people. It's my it's my it's my, it's my relations. Um, so we're talking about everything, our form of storytelling, how we tell it. And then, of course, the practice of old history. If their practice of old history is focused on interviews, well, that's not how I... I didn't go and interview my tipuna. Um I sat with them. Um, Kei wā rātou reke reke. Te whakarungo ki a rā, wā rātou kōrero. Ngā waiata. All the things that we know about, right? Mm -hmm. That we were in love. Osmosis, mm -hmm. my, um, my relations said, when I talked to them back home. When I talked to Uncle Uppi, he said, Ngāti Pro has many classrooms. <laughs> uh, and he learned all that. He learned through those various classrooms. Mm -hmm. On the marae and, uh, and everywhere else. Mm -hmm. So those are the things I wanted to talk about in the book. And to show non-indigenous scholars and historians that we're actually quite, uh, we know what we're doing. <laughs> we're quite robust. We're actually quite much more sophisticated than you realise. <laughs> and that when, when these Pākehā people that Tarangi Hiro and Ngata were talking about first came to collect our stories, they didn't really know what they were looking at. <laughs> Luckily for them, they had people like Tarangi Kahike. Um, able to be an intermediary mm. to tell them a little bit about what it was that they were um, looking at. I'm really grateful for this um, Tipo Nauronga Nui because for us as a, as a Māori historian, he's the people we look to. Um, people like him, writers like him, writers like Mohi Ture, where I come from, our writers, um, our people who wrote, um, who wrote in our reo, who talked about our history and were key to defining who we are. So I'm really grateful for these tipuna um, and to hear more about Arapine, for about him Arapine was really awesome to hear that. Um, so much so that uh, we wanted to make Te Rangi Kaheke the key focal point of our memorial lecture whenever we meet as historians. So we have this memorial lecture for Te Rangi Kaheke that we have every two years, um, where we invite different Māori historians to talk about their mahi. Um, but um, is also the kaupapa um, of that um, koho. So it's about like exactly what Moana said, reclaiming the centre, reclaiming the story, reclaiming the right to define who we are. So I'll pinch that pahai te rākōrero from him, <laughs> from um, Apirana Ngata and Kiri Ka, one of my relations who said the same thing, it's time for us to get about, down to writing about ourselves and stop other people writing about us. Mm -hmm. um, and I saw today a flurry on Facebook of people talking about Anne Salmon. Mm -hmm. um, so we're constantly, we're constantly having to remind these people who this um, history belongs to. Um, and there's a tikanga in there. There's an ethics in that. So part of the book is about ethics, just about the ethics of what we do. Part of it's about the theory. Part of it's about the practice and the method. Uh, I thought at first that we need to do a like a handbook, but no one's gonna <laughs> no one's gonna use that as a handbook. But um, so that's why I wanted to include all those components: um, the form, the method, the theory, and the tikanga. Uh, and the book that we're looking at finishing this year is uh, the book. This book was just Ngati Pro, um, and you know. 
There is other people outside of Marty, but I don't know. There is other UEs. So uh, this book that we're putting out this year is um, a, a book with uh, a, a lot of my people that I've met and I've, people that I've got to know in the indigenous world who are also oral historians who want to share their way of doing oral history. And you're now in Yarn in, in Australia, Lorena Barker and her mahi, um, to Sami scholars talking about how they, yeah, working and the way that they pass on their kōrero or Ainu scholars. Uh, talking about how they do kōrero tukuliho and of course our, our relations in Turtle Island and other parts of the world. So mm -hmm. that's the cool thing about this writing. Tēnei uh, Kupu has allowed me to meet other people and to uh, learn from them as well and to share what we know. So it's, a, it's been a lovely journey actually being able to get to this point and being able to get to the point and produce that book. I'm not going to talk about my publisher I uh, hope they never watch this video, but uh, <laughs> it's rough, rough working with publishers who um, don't understand our world. That was tough. Um, I'm sure other people were kind of going through that as well. Um, finding ways for us to be able to be, feel free to be able to write what's important to us. My publishers in the end asked me to try and remove a lot of the Māori book. Uh, um, we had a bit of a tough way over there. A little bit of a scuffle. Um, and then I managed to keep um, some in. They try to get me to remove it because of the audience. Um, so, yeah, so those were part of the things with that book. Um, it led me on to other kaupapa that I'm interested in, like uh, history of marketing, which is something that I'm working on at the moment, um, which is just a curiosity. Um, so that was something that always interested me, uh, and then of course I have to rescue that from the clutches of psychology <laughs> in the way that it's been talked about in there, and the uh, misunderstandings that Pākehā writers and other people have created about our mātou, that we're, you know, we're having to, we're having to, as Moana Jackson said, reclaim. So it's reclaiming our understanding of mākatū, uh, our understanding of these things, and not leaving it to Paul Moon, <laughs> and others, otherwise we're going to have some really bizarre narratives told about ourselves. Um, so um, that's really the kaupapa of that. It's, it's, to me it's about decolonising. Smith, it's something I stole from her and Graham. Even though I think they still not, they don't agree on indigenous, indigeneity or decolonisation or whatever it might be. Um, but for me, I, mean, I know for Rangi Māori, the way that we've always interpreted that the idea of decolonisation and indigenization is to come back to our whakapapa and our roots. Mm -hmm. So for me, Pupapa Māori and decolonisation is, when I talk to my pakeke about it, I mean, my and then I just gave this really clumsy explanation to Uncle Uppy about Kaupapa Māori. I felt really stupid. Um, give, trying to talk to him about it, and he says, Oh, we, we don't do that here, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Thesis was over. <laughs> but then he said, uh, we, we call that Ngāti Parautanga. <laughs> yeah. So there I had a kupu. He gave me a kupu to use mm. that I needed um, to find my and navigate myself and my way in the world. Mm -hmm. And so um, I found mine, which was Ngāti Parautanga. Rangi Māori found his. Ngāti Rangi Wewehi Tanga. She's right. <laughs> 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 Which is beautiful, and that's one of the beautiful things about, to me, the most important thing about this festival. Te katai mai tātou kei te whakae me mai tātou kei te hui hui kei te tui tui te whakaaro. And we can find these kupu, because I can't find them in these Pākehā conferences. But katai mai eki kone, um, to listen to the likes of Chris, I've got a whole bunch of new kupu after listening to them um, tonight that I'm going to start using uh, in my mahi. And I hope that what I've talked about tonight, that people will be able to use them in whatever mahi that you're doing. So thank you for having me. Um, all I hope that there was something interesting in what I see, and that you don't have much papa. Good boy, much much baki.
uh, Bert Napier, um, and just as he explained to all of us, if you want to travel the world, just go and talk about Maori. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he does. He uh, goes around the world telling everybody what he already knows and what is inherently a part of us. And so that's probably a, an eye opener that we actually we got we got an X factor <laughs> around the world. And uh, as a former minister, I can tell you that to be true, mm -hmm. uh, because everywhere our people go and we take ourselves with us mm. overseas, mm -hmm. uh, we break barriers that no one, no one else can ever break. Mm. Uh, why? Because of the relationships and how we make relationships and stuff. So come with me, Captain Motera. Now we know how you get around the world. Um, I think the second hint is that you better have something about Nati Rangiwewe in your book. <laughs> just, in, just saying, just saying. Um, and uh, so, any questions? Any questions? The book you've uh, got up here. <laughs> From start to finish, you know, conception of the idea, research. How long? Oh man, that's a that's a. Terrible answer I'm about to give. Uh, too long. Uh, I think it was about 10 years. Um, but to put that into perspective, <laughs> the 10 years I'm talking about, I started researching this when I was an honor student. And then I didn't start the thesis, which the book is based on, uh, until at least two years after that. So I had a couple of years in, and then when I got to the thesis, and I had to really make a decision about what I was going to do. Um, then I knew and that, that's when it started to come together a bit more. My master's thesis was a leader where I um, used that as sort of a trial mm -hmm. to write about... Um, I, wa I was really interested in writing about uh, the way that we carry memory. I'm quite mm -hmm. interested. Theory is a passion of mine, so I'm really interested in how memory works mm -hmm. as a historian. So that was a lot of what my master's thesis was about. And it laid the foundation mm -hmm. partly for this. And, um, and then this book came out of that. So, and then that was another, how long did it take my PhD? Four years, I think? Three, four years? Yeah, and then a year or so after that to work with my Hoha publishers <laughs> and then get it out. So yeah, I think it was almost 10 years. All up. So I'm trying not to repeat that. The rest. Take take I just wanted to jump in because mine is about the book as well. Yeah. Um, and that's more readily available in America than here. Yeah, um, it, yeah, it is partly I think because of the price. <laughs> when it came out, um, it was with Oxford uh, University Press, which um, I think because they Oxford, they like we're going to charge exorbitant amounts of money for people to buy the book. Well, to be honest, I was actually really fucking mild about the price when it came out. Um, I thought it was inaccessible uh, to a lot of my own farmer and people, mm -hmm. although. To be fair, when I did talk about my relations, I uh, remember a distinct conversation with one of my cousins over lunch who said, we read your book. Uh, it was boring. Because <laughs> 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 they went into the theory and, the part of that and they said, okay, well, was there any good parts? And they said, oh, no, it was heaps of good bits. It's just the theory part was really boring. Can you take that part? <laughs> and they just want me to take all the theory and method out and just talk about the interviews. So they said, oh, we need to do here. I said, just oh, and so they wanted me to write a different book, you know, but I had an audience for that book. I knew who I was writing for. Mm -hmm. That book, they want a whole different book. Mm -hmm. yeah, so this was for that audience. And mm -hmm. Oral history is really big in America and in the UK. And that was the audience. That Americans was the, with yeah, the Yeah, because a lot of the leading figures in the field come from there. Mm -hmm. And I was straight, I was attacking them like that. And I was off the leash, so I was, I was giving them heaps and I wanted them to know, I wanted everybody in the field to know mm. that we've got something to say about what they say, say about our history mm. and now they know. Mm. And so, um, yeah, it was really for them. And but for my cousins, like, yeah, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> Publishers, they can understand Māori perspectives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but serious, seriously, I did want to just ask you: um, Do you talk about your work very much to Māori audiences like this? Like, have you done this very much, or are you are you speaking mainly to Pākehā and Aboriginal audiences? Oh, I like to think that I'm talking to everyone, um, to all audiences. I mean, there's uh, there are things in here I think uh, are really benefit to our people, uh, especially to. Um, 
some of the really cool things that I loved most about getting the book out is the number of young Māori academics. Mm -hmm. um, I like to think of them. But, um, young Māori academics who are coming through and doing their masters, mm -hmm. their PhD. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I've had a lot of them say, man, we needed that book mm -hmm. uh, because there's nothing in the field. Mm -hmm. And that's also the other big reason why I wrote mm -hmm. it because there's literally nothing in the field. If you go and look in there, there's, you're going back to Ruka Broughton yes. and back to Jean Van mm -hmm. um, And so there's quite a lot of ground to make up. So um, that's why I wrote the book, because I looked everywhere, because I was doing that as a co papa for my thesis, and I couldn't find hardly anybody, and so I wrote it, and when you write something no one else ever written, everyone thinks you're a superstar, <laughs> but um, it's just because you're the only one who's writing about it, and um, so that was my audience, but um, at the same time, there's that international audience, the challenging Western Pākehā thinkers, not just in America, but here, Mm -hmm. um, it's also something for our own people to use. Mm -hmm. So hopefully the book is useful um, for our people, but it just depends. Um, and, you know, who knows how it might be useful for them. Hopefully it's more than just having to deal with um, university courses and PhDs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you, too, Lord. Um Can I just make a few comments first before apartheid? Um, one is... Um, um, I didn't realise that you were at our hui's in recent uh, weeks and that AGMs and everything that <laughs> that you were more famous than me uh, people sitting in the room. Uh, but um, the beautiful thing is I um, um, and listening to you tonight. I wanted to come out and listen to, listen to your presentation as well and everyone else. A great program that's been put together by the organising committee. But I was very impressed in the fact that you 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 have found a one of our princesses from Nakiva. <laughs> but I know that Uncle Kake and even Hami and years gone by when we were taking our Opu used to say to say to us, "You marry it Rangi wherever he you are the no. And dinner felt the same way over the 35 years. We had the Gorpu, so you write books and travel the world, we got pupils and travel. <laughs> <laughs> and like you, we used to think there were only two tribes in the whole country, Gati Rangi Willy and the rest. <laughs> but then we found out that no, Gati Pala was good too. <laughs> I'm the very first one 50 years ago, <laughs> so we acknowledge hey, hey, that. Hey, but thank um, you. Uh, really enjoyed your well, presentation. The question I was going to ask: anything that can make it in 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 America, USA, is it is your book ready to be say? Along comes a film producer, and they want to make a film. Do you think it's in that category? Um, that's because we want to go to the Academy Awards. <laughs> well, I think you've mistaken me for my other relation. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh, I wish it'd be. I think, um, uh, I don't know, this might be for the model care for a film. Take out the theory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish the table would do it. To be honest, I was really nervous after Chris was speaking because he's such a great um, storyteller. Um, and I thought, I don't know how I'm going to tell these fellas about this book. <laughs> <laughs> it's an academic book. But, um, yeah, no, I think there should be some of those stories. Mm. And I, I know, like, Monty's, uh, Monty's working on his, his three novels for his, um, his, his writing on the battalion. Oh, yeah. So he's shifted right from his uh, oh, yeah. to yeah. 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 that yeah, money. Right. I love the fact that we can bridge the gap between uh, the sort of intellectual mm -hmm. mahi, which is in the academy, but also to um, that space of novel writing, poetry writing, fiction, mm -hmm. and being creative yeah. uh, about all the ways that we tell these stories. Like, Chris showed brilliantly tonight that we don't need to mm -hmm. sit in the academy and use that language necessarily like decolonization. It's completely right to talk about 
these sorts of things. Mm -hmm. And that um, actually some of the most brilliant way that we can discuss this stuff is through those creative channels, mm -hmm. through um, our novel writing, through our carving, through all of the arts that we have, mm -hmm. of course, mm -hmm. and the beauty of our waiata. And we're going to hear tomorrow, I think, in this festival from people who are writing in those areas, mm -hmm. Kaititu Waiata mm -hmm. Mo te te. That's what I talk about in here. That's the bread and butter of our kōrero tuku mm -hmm. our whakatauki, our kiwaha, our kere, our kōrero ōne. And so we're going to see that this week and see that Māori have a really good breadth of understanding between um, te ao o te, o te kōrero a waha, mm -hmm. te ao o te pene, um, me te tūri. Mm -hmm. And that we actually really have, we understand how those worlds work really well, just the same as we understand um, the Pākehā world and the Māori world because we've had to mm -hmm. and we've excelled <coughs> in both mm -hmm. and so to me I hope that this is sort of it's a very ngāti poro tō ringa ki ngā rākau with the Pākehā <coughs> um, but also um, has got our, our tipuna in mind mm -hmm. at the end of the day and our mokapuna mm -hmm. in mind so it's, it's trying to bring those worlds together Thank you, boy. Mm -hmm. Probably that's a good way to finish our quarter for tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ke wai wai ke inga mā tauranga mō ngā tamare ki moko tonu. Mm -hmm. Koe a pia, ta, kai reira tonu ke tahi mā harahara nui, uh, ne pia, ko te āhua tonu oi nei kōrero. Mm -hmm. E pai tonu mō tētahi whakatipurangu mō tētahi reenga. Engari, kai te memiti haere te āhua tonu te hunga e noho nei rungi o tātou pai. Mm -hmm. uh, so despite Chris's quarter, despite quarter about our uh, tupuna and stuff, mm -hmm. the reality is that so many of our pai are now really struggling to hold ourselves off. Mm -hmm. There was one wish that would be, can you write a book that allows us to get a strategy to fill our pie up so that we're not mm -hmm. having to jump from morai to morai mm -hmm. and indeed can hold our own mm -hmm. uh, because these places become uh, simply mātau. E whare mātau, mm -hmm. e te kore tātou e whaka, e whaka rangatira i ngā pōro ko puta i āko e wotira ngā mea e tāi mai te pōne. So if you want to start a new book, get to that one because we, we need it pretty urgently mm -hmm. to find our people and give them hope uh, and and aspire uh, mm -hmm. to represent their people with the use of their language at our ceremonies and cust uh, and our and our tangis mm -hmm. and sadly missing at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we don't fix that then all of the stuff is just about the history as opposed to what the reality is right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it's good to have that contrast mm. and sometimes conflict and sometimes uh, uh, joining our thought. Uh, so thank you so much for sharing tonight and mm. all the very best in your studies and going forward. Mm. And hopefully many of our young scholars will learn from you and fix that other problem we talked about and do it tomorrow if you can. <laughs> <laughs> If you haven't, you can go straight to the website to get the program for the rest of the week. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that the, our organising committee wishes to share with everybody tonight? <coughs> Carl, but I'm interviewing Brownie Gloin in the morning, so no. tune in to Tiaraway FM, please. 8.35 no in the morning. Thank you, Nebia, for this morning. Kapoi. O te rongo te wiki te mei kaupapone. No reira, me toha toha, me korero, me wānanga, me tono. E e tahi atu ki a haere ki te whakarongo ki ngā korero. Just to wrap up, and we only got an opportunity to do this once, and she probably won't come back again. <laughs> just want to just acknowledge uh, uh, Order of Merit for New Zealand, Hirarangi Edwards. <laughs> あの、いえ、ピラウィトマンのティートヘア。ラウィアナティドル、ナティドルウェイ。あ、カモツイテネポコホキマイトマタヤラニウェイ。あ、キムイタロ、あ、オナツコネイリアニテパキタラファレ。
Tēra, e oranga nākau ko potamai koe tēnei pō me e te ki. Mm. O rangi wewehi te hono re nui, no nā te rive nui te hono re nui. Mm. No tarana ki whānui te, te hono re nui. Tēra, mm. tane te, te tuku i te mehi te akoe, mm. ahako a poto no ake, ana, ko rarau whai mai rai, ko ki rato i tō tūpuna whare tēna. Ah, koe tēnei whai nei nā tapu au e tai atu. Tēra, koe tēnei whai nei nā tapu au e tai atu. Tēra, koe tēnei whai nei nā tapu au e tai atu. Tēra, koe tēnei whai nei nā tapu au e tai atu. Tēra, I uh, can't wait to make sponsors. Mm. The crowd's here. Yeah. 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 Uh, he uh, echoes me down. What the way? <laughs> <laughs> know, thank you very much for looking after us to all those ones who are at home watching and hopefully be able to get online and to watch and feel the way that's been in our body yeah. tonight. Yeah. Uh, we hope that you've enjoyed the speakers uh, and have plenty of food for thought. And for all of you who've come out for tonight, uh, the, uh, the weather seems to have calmed down, I'm not too sure what it's like <laughs> outside tonight. I would also talk about our speakers, so one more round of applause for our speakers. Eh? If you want to just put it on top of another white seat and on top of another one, that'll be helpful for us. I'll put the whanau tidying up. Uh, but for the rest of us, I'll have our closing karaki and wish you well on the way home. And mātou wahi maru koutou manā kitea. Mai e te tukua, mai e te tawhitu, mai e te tāhui o ngā hiki, mai e e tāwhiti ki ngā tua. O i ka takin e te Māori ko te Māori ahua noa ki runga ki e nei taura, ki runga ki e nei taura. E tau te Māori ki runga ki e nei tama, mā tāne tama wahine. E tukuna nō te whaiororo o tāne te waiora, te nei te matatau ka aike whakatū tāreo ki te rangi. Uhi, wero, harama i te toki. Whahau i e, hui e! Whahau i e! Kia ora tātou, kūna e te, thank you very much for coming!